so what did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not much. Not much. Um, that was a wonderful nap. Great. Now go grab some lumber and help us repair the fence. Oh, yes, of course. And the rest of you? Uh, Come helping with the fence. <laughs> and carrying his bow, he will partially string it across so that it's not on his back, but on his front. And we'll go and begin to collect some wood and logs as well. Yes. Did we catch his name? I don't know if I just didn't write it down. Uh, no, no one asked his name. Okay. Um, uh, friend, uh, what was... Uh, I didn't catch your name. Oh, that's because I didn't give it and it wasn't asked. And I don't know your mm. names either. Ariana Vakros. Oh. Ationis. Of data. And the rest. How fair you? things in data recently? Well, I'm sure you're aware that there have been some odd things going on. And you had mentioned something yourselves about someone, uh, how did you put it? Taking the powers of the gods? Something kind of like that. I'm kind of interested to know more about this. Um, well, I don't think it serves to go too into detail or, or speculation as we, as we still don't know exactly what's going on, but um, there have just been multiple uh, tragedies, really, is, is the best way to refer to them, and, and strange apparent, uh, appearances and occurrences in, in a couple the major city areas and impacting now even the rivers. So uh, each one seeming to bear reason to believe that it would have to do with a certain god. Obviously a river suddenly having salt water in it would, would be pointable to perhaps Thassa. Um, these wolves that protect uh, the harvest, you know, acting in a strange way all of a sudden could you could you could blame um Oh, parametric. Wait, wait. Yes. You're now you're now blaming this situation with the Rogan Wolf on this individual that you say is acting with the power of the gods. Um, most, what did he do? Most likely, um, I couldn't tell you, but the footprint being here after being at several other scenes. It, it, pardon me, a footprint. Yes. What footprint? Oh, you mean the the hoof, right? Yes. And he's going to look over at Agrios, as, and then he's going to look at Tikaros. As you can tell, we have many creatures come through here with hoofs on their feet. And as you evidently cannot tell, our hooves do not match those prints. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I would suspect they wouldn't, since you were saying this was someone else. But now you have me suspicious as why you would be wanting to throw attention away from the fact that you have wolves. Is there something you're trying to hide? You put oh. attention on it first. I have no interest in hiding anything. I'm an open book. Is that why you're hiding your hand behind your shield this entire time while trying to make a fence? He smiles and reaches over and takes off the shield and puts it away. And you can see that he's missing two fingers on his left hand. Agrius, when did that happen? What do you mean? The wolf bit it off. What? Them off. Oh, I'm missing two. Oh, no good. I can't believe it. Oh, God, I'm slipping. <sighs> Gotta lift something. She's gonna storm off and try to, like, get a whole bunch of heavy logs. It's only two. The gods saw fit to give me ten, you know. I'm not addressing that! 
Hedonius is going to look at you and he's going to look at your hands and he's going to go. Hmm, okay. The rest of us have 20, but I guess you couldn't count that. Hmm. 21 in some cases. And he will continue to just chuckle a little bit and begin uh, trimming off some of the bark from the wood to make fence posts. What was that last thing that he said? <laughs> 21 in some cases. Oh, I see. All right. Okay. Well, anyways. Well, uh, uh, mine could not be mistaken for a finger, sir. So. Oh. Back to the mm. prince. Um, I do deal with relatives here. I, I've I've known to be a good uh, tracker, and we've been following this person for a while. So I, I feel fairly confident that it's an exact match. If you don't believe me, that's fine, and I understand that. But well, we it's not a matter of belief. I'm just trying to understand what you're telling me. It's having uh, a group of individuals I've never met arrive just after having killed two very prized creatures of the people around this area and quite nonchalantly at that uh, after a farm has been overrun uh, and then telling me that it's not their fault it's because of someone who is using the powers of the god who must have upset those creatures you can understand why i might see that as a little odd that's fair well, the fact that we are sticking around and even talking to you and helping this person, I, I hope, disproves that line of thinking. Where are you headed? Data. Huh. And what business do you have in data? What business do you have asking us what business we have? <laughs> As mentioned before, I am part of the guard. Ah. Uh. Yes. Oh, we're we're hoping to travel even further south. Um, there's a ship waiting for us in Data that we've been given permission to use for travel. Ship waiting for you in Data. What's the name of this ship? And he, again, he's just continuing to take the bark off of things and make fence posts. Uh, the Dolphin. The Dolphin. Hmm. That must be the one they just pulled out of Dry Dock. What does that mean? It's been out of the water for some time. It's not often used. It belongs to uh, some Malaysian uh, councilman, I believe. Oh, yes. That sounds right. Hmm. Well, I'm, it... I'm fairly sure it's uh, seaworthy. Yes, uh, uh Is Bubo Ariana. with us? Out of character. Is Bubo with us? Absolutely. He's still on your shoulder unless you've told him to go That's, somewhere. I, I, I couldn't <laughs> remember if we had sent him off to something, so I just remembered. Um... Yeah. Wait, is he literally Ariana. named that? I thought we just called him that as a reference. That's what she she said she was naming him that, and I just went, okay, that's his name now. All right. It's what Ariana calls him, doesn't it? <laughs> Fair enough. He answers to it. That's what matters, right? Perfect. Uh, Ariana she, will come yeah, with it. Answers. I don't mean to generally, exactly. sorry. Uh, critter. Yeah, there we um, go. Yeah. Uh, Ariana will walk back with a giant load of logs and stuff that she's collected and, and put it back down and go, uh, uh, yes, uh, this contraption here uh, belongs to the same gentleman. I see. And so you must be very close with this person if they're loaning you so much of their special things. We are particularly useful tools of his. Mm. So your tools. Ah, you could not, say that. <laughs> perhaps not friends, but perhaps employees. Acquaintances. We're really just trying to do some good. I, I hope we can put your fears and, and suspicions at ease. I I know it's strange, but I we've all been personally close to and impacted by the things that have been happening, and we've found ourselves to be a rather good team together, so we're just trying to do the best we can and then, thankfully as we've been doing that we've uh, acquired some people who are are happy to help us um help them and help others i see so about this 
individual um which do you do you have a name for this person this this entity this this thing that is boning the ship or no using the power of the gods uh no we haven't we've chased them multiple times but they seem to have some form of teleportation spell or invisibility Mm -hmm. spells so we haven't we haven't been able to catch them we i think we've just been calling them the hooded figure for the most part Mm, the hooded the hooded one yes yes Mm, i like that you'd mentioned uh the river is this when it uh ebbed and the flow turned and it began to draw in the sea that was about three days ago i believe yes yes Hmm. we uh we helped the nearby village deal with that repairing bridges and and getting people to safety did you happen to see what caused the change of the river flow that was very sudden i actually jumped in the river to investigate myself um obviously it's it seems to be originating from the bay which is another piece of why we're heading south but um no i there were i mean obviously there was massive fish die off due to the change in salinity um and there was this large creature that had appeared some kind of oh it was some kind of scorpion like thing but uh, really we had we had just arrived and and we're talking to someone and um as we were I, chatting with them we turned around and noticed the river had changed Didn't i really took the claw to from its tail right sorry yeah yeah you took its claw from its tail yeah agrios will reach for that and show it off yeah this was part of it. Interesting. Hmm. You texture, have this data. No, uh, but I have heard tale of something like that. It's more from the islands. It's it's out a bit. Hmm. More of a, a sea creature than a something out of the Siren Sea, maybe. That uh, trying to move the map over to show our the islands, theory. Now, see, I wonder if it traveled all this way or if it was created or spawned in some form as part of the event. Hmm. I don't know. There was no real change in the bay, except, of course, where it flowed into the river instead of out of. But uh, we actually, um, I said, I mean, we sent two rangers to uh, investigate. I'm surprised you may not have seen them on the way. But they may have been hanging lower down into the valley rather than taking the main trail. Yeah, I don't believe we've encountered them. Yes. I, I would expect to hear from them in, in, oh, maybe another four days, about a week's travel up, up the valley. Hmm. Well, best of luck to them. So as you continue chatting and working on this and eventually get the fence into good stead, um, well, allow me to uh, escort you into data. Oh, that would be wonderful. Of course. Um, I guess we need to send someone to to fetch your automaton. Oh, yes, Prime. I'll go get him. And Tigros will kind of bounce off in the direction where Prime went. I wonder if you need enough food for all of us. That would be nice. <laughs> so, uh, Tigros, you'll make it uh, up to the farmhouse. And uh, there's a family there, small family. And Prime has apparently made quite a meal for them and set everything up. And he is now going around to each person like... Uh, like a waiter at a fine restaurant, just waiting on each one of them. And and as you approach, he looks up and goes, Ah, Tikaros, are, are we completed? Yes, we're leaving, but this looks beautiful. Oh, um, thank you. Uh, well, again, I am very, very sorry that my friends uh, murdered your, your protector wolves, but I, I am quite sure that, that the military will do a good job of, of covering until such a time as the gods I choose to make another action to uh um yes well thank you 
and he will take off the apron that he is wearing and uh, make his way out. And I, I really don't know what to say to people. This is really an, an odd situation I was put in here. They, they, maybe... they are quite angry about the wolves. Yeah, but so maybe don't just keep talking about the wolves. Maybe talk about the weather or your food or spices or oh, research oh. or carts. And as you're walking away, oh, I should have done that. I th I'm afraid I've, I've been talking about the wolves the entire time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so they will catch back up to the group. All right, everyone together. Please follow me. And he will begin to make way down the trail. So as you all are walking along, what are each of you doing and what order are you choosing to follow along with him? I think Ariana is walking like next to him and probably just engaging in like so what what made you join the rangers and what did you do what what kind of training do you, do you prefer the bow over the sword do you like just just absolutely whether he's answering or not i don't know but she's trying to engage him in that kind of conversation he was born into it um for the most part but basically he was born into it because uh he wasn't what his father expected so that therefore he was given to the guard as a child Ooh. Much things after and, that are a haze, and he he's not really a fan of the sword or the bow. He prefers the spoken word. He finds there to be great power mm. in words. There, there's probably a point at which, like he's she starts to realize that she doesn't quite have as much of a connection with him on this because she's just a brute, mm. um, and just kind of like slowly starts being like, if he says something that like ticks like oh yes uh, uh vara absolutely uh has some interest and like eventually kind of like tries to yeah. pass him off to talking to her i've read a lot of books <laughs> exactly agrios think, doesn't oh sorry i was gonna say adrastus is wherever agrios is because he's he wants to talk to him about everything all the fights that he missed oh okay <laughs> i was gonna say agrios would be lagging a little behind this guy because he doesn't like him and doesn't want him at his back Oh, yeah, no, Adrastos has not gotten a good vibe from this guy since waking up. <laughs> really? Three wolves by yourself, and all they took from you was two fingers. Well done, Agrios. Well, well, they, they did show up to help me. Ah, well. But you, you started the fight on your own, and uh, a little true. disappointed that the rest of the party chose not to wake me up, but, you know, it's, it's fine, I guess. You're a heavy sleeper. Yes, and the two fingers I lost, I just consider that part of the sacrifice. I'm sure they'll be waiting for you with Mogus or something. I don't know. I'm not good at talking about God things, but yes, sacrifice okay. to Mogus. You, I've, you know, I would imagine that a sacrifice of your own body would look very well in Mogus's eyes. Of course. Especially when lost, in, lost in my own battle. Exactly. Exactly. You understand. Hey, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Never say you can't uh, teach an old cat new tricks. I've never said that. Well, good. Don't. <laughs> <sighs> well, I'm glad you got your sleep at least. Yes, and I'm ready for the next fight, which hopefully uh, will be soon. I'm getting itchy. I like to hear that. <sighs> Perhaps, perhaps I'll see you unleash that rage that I saw before. <laughs> perhaps. Assuming that Prime and Tikaros are somewhere in the vicinity of Deep 2, Prime will turn around and go, it's possible that could be fleas. You did sleep a lot on the ground. What? He said he was itchy. I, I could probably <laughs> Surely not something. I don't think so, but maybe. Do you want to go check for fleas? Um, not especially. I would, I could probably formulate something to, you know, sprinkle over him that would remove the fleas. 
I'm, I'm not I'm not a master craftsman at these things, but I do know some of the formulas from the scrolls. I could always try to make something if that would address us. No, the the itch is metaphorical, Prime, but I appreciate your concern. I see. Unless I have you. fleas of the spirit, which, honestly, judging everything we've seen since we started adventuring, wouldn't even surprise me at this point. Spirit fleas. I can't imagine it. That would be quite interesting. I'll have to check when I get back if there are any records of spiritual fleas. Take a spiritual tea tree oil bath. What's happening? <laughs> I tried so hard not to break character. How do you, how do you, do, how do you deal with spirit, please? Would that be traditional? Take, Would you pray? Spirit flea collar. Need a, need a spiritual comb to pull out the spiritual mitts. Oh. <laughs> Wait, that's spirit lice. I thought you said a spirit cone, and then I just thought of like Adrastos in this giant, like glowing <laughs> cone. <laughs> <laughs> with his neck shaved. Yeah. <laughs> the cone <Wow>. of shame. <laughs> we should write books. The plus two we cone of shame. <laughs> <laughs> yes. As you proceed down the road, uh, you begin to see as a very large tower comes into view. There's a light at the top of it, and even at this distance from it, you can tell, I mean, it's, it's easily three, four stories and, and probably on a hill because of how well it is standing out against the horizon um but you can tell from the various uh artwork that you can make out of the distance this is a temple of heliod mm. and there is a light in the top that probably serves as a uh a lighthouse for ships at sea so Beautiful. you must be approaching the city and suddenly patanaeus is going to stop and look at the road that's odd. Hmm. And he's going to point along the brush, and the brush looks disturbed there. Something across right. the road. Would you like me to scout ahead, see if there's trouble? Sure. All right. Shield off, sword in hand. Roll my shoulders. <laughs> Yeah, before before Adrastos leaves, <laughs> while he's doing his warm up, ideally, <laughs> if Vara could try to identify if there's any, yeah, <laughs> yeah if, if there's any, uh, work out the hammies. prints or anything. He just said disturbed. Is there a footprint? Is there so you're a kind of going to invest? You're kind of going to investigate yeah. what you see there. You can either Actually, use investigate or survival. Thank you for survival. Wow, rolled a three. That's an eight. You see absolutely nothing that distinguishes this section of the road or the brush from any other section of the road or the brush. Oh. Oh. Before Adrastos takes off to scout, Agrius is going to put a hand on his shoulder and cast Guidance. Oh, thanks, man. I'll, like, smile at the ranger and, oh, wow, I, I, I don't even see anything. Good eye. It, it takes a trained eye. Sure. Right. Well, you're familiar with this road, it seems. Never been here before. I will make my way into the underbrush and try and figure out if there is something we should be concerned about. Right. Cool. Uh, investigation or survival, your choice. Okay. Let's take one that has a bonus. I'll take survival. Um, oh, but <laughs> uh, eight. <laughs> is that with the D4? Oh, no. He rolls a one. You know. Aha! Ten. <laughs> well, that's, that's, nice. that's that second digit. That's a Nailed shade it. better. <laughs> uh, as you are walking through this and you make your way into the brush, the, the first thing you note is there, until you moved through it, there was no disturbance in this brush. The brush was continuous. You know, there there were, were limbs of these these bushes that went across the area he's talking about and extend for several feet. You don't know what he was talking about, that there was some kind of a disturbance. Hmm. But do you continue well, going south in the wood line? Nothing here, but let's be on our guard. And I will kind of move to the front. 
because I figure he'll be able to see over me. I'm not that big. And I'm just going to kind of be like on the defensive at the front. Seriously, maybe you should go a bit further in the woods. Something just Very well. off. I Can will I insight a little this guy? further in the woods. Yeah, perhaps uh, we should all go if it's really the same. Absolutely. Thing. The only thing that Very seems on. off is you. That's a nat 20. Uh, mm. It's a 20, 23. Did you get a nat 22? I rolled a nat 20. <laughs> Damn it! Someone needs to take but take those that, dice away. That's from not me. an automatic. That's not an automatic success. I just thought it was hilarious. As soon as I yeah, looked, no, it's, that's it's great. a twenty, and you said that. I'm, like, oh, what are the I'm just betting his deception is higher than my insight. What What is your What was What is your final? Twenty three. Twenty three. Um, it seems a little odd. He seems very convinced, or at least he wants you to believe. There is something there, and he definitely wants a Drastos or someone to pursue it in the woods. I, I think we should just all go. I it's that much of a concern. How about you come with us? And uh, we figure it out together. You're more familiar with the land. Like I said, I didn't even spot the disturbance. And Depatineus, you saw it, so perhaps you should go first. You clearly okay. have a better eye than us. Well, if you insist, of course. Adrastos hasn't stopped moving. He's uh, our, our Adrastos He's been sleeping stopped. for like a day, <laughs> and he's he just wants to he wants to fight something. If he has to fight this ranger, fine. He just like he's like, there's something in these woods. I'm gonna kill it. Oh, right, right. Ariana, he's like, he's like sharp... fiend in. He's like chewing on his shield. Just <laughs> <laughs> so, Ariana you're... will do a sharp whistle that he does that she does to like during training to like stop. The ears go completely flat. Just <laughs> hmm. How much time do we have? Do we do we have a few minutes? That's up to you. I mean, uh, Ariana said that we should go in the woods, so um, Ateneus is going to go ahead and start heading towards the woods. If you have not gone in yet, you have a few minutes. Now, Adrastos is already ahead of you all. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I'm, I'm going uh, to... I, I want to know if I have 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted to take 10 minutes, you could. But that will be 10 minutes away from everyone, unless you say something to stop them. Here's the thing. I want to I cast Augury. Uh, uh, to see if it would be a good idea to go. If if you, I don't know about everyone else, but if you're like, I want to test the waters before we go in there, then I, like Ariana will back yeah, you. You know what? He's I'm, gonna. You know what? Ag Agrios is gonna speak up because he wants to. He wants to try this. Hold on, before we go out there, I want to see. I want to see if this is a good idea. Of course. Pataneus is going to just kind of cross his hands over the after the bow and oh, what yeah. does that and, mean exactly? And uh he takes out his bones and begins trying to uh divine for the next ten minutes. <laughs> and, Divination and, hasn't let us wrong and, in the past. And every time Pataneus speaks up, he's going. <laughs> <laughs> I see Agrios well, kneeled over as a horse speaking. in his horse body, and Pataneus goes to something, and Agrios just puts his dirty finger up. What tries to put his dirty finger, but he's missing one on his lips, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. <actually. laughs> the bones are speaking. And actually, he will just stand there quietly and watch. Drastos is going to go up to a tree and just start scratching it. <laughs> All right, what Tam, is, your is question? it a good? What is your question? So the question is is you know something that can be answered with yeah, you know, wheel, right? Basically, mm -hmm. yeah, not not yes or no, but you know, is it good or bad for us? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I suppose so. It's uh, I suppose 
what is it a good idea for us to go investigate whatever this supposedly is idea is a tough concept i think you're going to have to be a little bit more exact than what you're looking is for is it would it be hmm, you know what um would, would, would i be able to ask uh hmm, no, I can't ask if he's being deceptive. I, I don't think that's how that works. Um, if you were to say something is, should I trust this person? Then you could get a go. lower I'll do that. something like that. So, Yeah, yeah. Um, is it all right to, tr sh should I trust this ranger on this matter? Yeah. On, on this, this matter, matter, being on, going into the woods. Being, being going or into this, yeah, going to investigate this. I got to think about this for a minute. <laughs> right. So there's a little bit of a playroom in here. I have to judge whether you should or not based upon benefit to yourself. Because it is all about the all important Agrius mm -hmm. is why this comes up. I am the one casting it. You are. Wheel. The bones have spoken. He gathers them up. We investigate. Good. I'm glad it sees it my way. And he will turn and head into the woods. Any, right, anyone else? Be, I'll be ahead of him. It quite distinctly <laughs> doesn't see your way. It sees Agrius's way, but um, I suppose we don't have to make it <laughs> Agrius goes with. He seems a little annoyed. He wanted to not trust this guy. He wanted, he wanted a gotcha moment of, ha-ha! Ha-ha! Anyway, um, Adrasto says, you are ahead of the group. Um, you hear all this going behind you. You said you turned around, scratched a tree, blah, blah, blah. As you turn around, it suddenly catches your eye that ahead of you in the brush, just about the height of the brush, you see these black, Figures, figurines, uh, something. You're not sure what they are. There are apparently eight of them ahead of you a little ways. You can just kind of make out. Kind of like you would see rocks uh, peeking over the, the top of, of a wave as it was going across the beach. You see these things in the distance. I will um, kind of elbow Patanaeus. What are those? Well, you're ahead of him, so I'm going to say... Well, I, I will, like, yeah. stop, wait for okay. him, elbow him, right. and point with my sword. What are those? I don't know. Let's find out. And he will, again, just be holding on to his bow, which is still across slung. Very well. I will go and investigate. Ariana will go up with him. The rest of you? Immediately or hanging back? Next to Adrastos. I'll go Sorry. with. Yeah, I come. Okay. I, I. Yeah. I'll assume all of you are staying fairly close proximity as well. Yeah. Getting. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, can I attempt to whisper something to Ariana? Absolutely. So I will say to Ariana, hopefully quietly, stay with the ranger. I don't want arrows at my back. Ariana will <clears throat> imperceptibly kind of nod as if taking in the thing and just drop back slowly so she's near the ranger without making it look like she's stopped to go back to him. Adrastos, as you make your way ahead of everyone, you see it first, but then everyone kind of catches up to you. You see eight figures. They appear to be eight persons. They're just off the road in the brush enough to be hidden from view from the road. They are all on their knees in two rows. Their heads are bowed. Their hands are raised in an inverted V above their head. They are all facing upstream towards Acros, except for one of them. This one is turned slightly to the side. 
on her knees, looking upward as though she were looking at the face of someone. Her hand is clutching something at her neck, and her right hand is raised flat-handed as though placed against a wall or something, resting on something. They're all deeply colored in this black, faded, crackly-looking material. How lo These are figurines, right? Like they're... Uh, that was the best way I could describe it. They're like statues, okay. but they're they're yes. people sized and they're people, but from people looking size. at them, you just see these black colored people shaped okay. things. Hmm. I does would I know any religious like is this a ritual? Was is this a is this an old um I'm wondering the same thing. Monument? Like, yeah, is, is could I do some kind of religion like this? Absolutely, do a religion check. Me too. Yes, absolutely. Or Six. actually, whichever of you, whichever I, of you has the higher modifier, roll with advantage. Yeah, please, please roll instead of me. <laughs> I need different dice. The beyond the D and D Beyond dice are not treating me well. <laughs> As you are doing this, Pataneus is going to walk up and stand directly in front of the body of the woman that has her hands up, so that almost it, her hand would almost be resting on his the lower part of his chest. Ariana's mm -hmm. standing near him. Mm -hmm. uh, so on the actual religion check, I rolled a total of 13. However, I'm going to go, I went ahead and used my, um, which I've never used before because I forgot mm -hmm. it existed, my oracle ability to add a d10 to that as the gods grant me a flash of insight, adding awesome. a seven for a dirty 20. Nice. All right. There is nothing particular in this, no statuary that you are aware of that would have this symbolum, symbolism, but the whole on their knees bowed with their hands like this um, obviously gives some sense of subservience to something. And the closest that you can recall is maybe in the days, legends of the old gods, the, the titans, prior to the coming of the current gods. Um. Oh, I am granted insight from the heavens. I believe these, uh, these figurines or these, these statues are posed in worship of the old gods. That's mm. concerning, based on some of our discussions. That is mm. concerning regardless. Prime, do you know what old god this might be for? I mean, they're facing the river. Do you think maybe it's what's causing this? I, I'm not aware of anything in... What reference of the, the old gods? Like an old god of the sea or something? No, no. Ariana, you've got your hand up. Uh, how's uh, 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 Pedaneus reacting? It, does he look, like, concerned? Does he look... It's stone cold faced. He's just looking at it, taking in the information. He okay. seems He seems quite unemotional about all of it. Interesting. Okay. A matter of fact, Ariana, since you are kind of looking around and looking at these things, give me a perception check, please. Oh, Tay. Ooh, that's not great. Uh, yeah, it's an eight. Okay. Oh, wait, I'm lucky. I'm going to reroll. <laughs> that's worse. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I think saying I'm lucky. Uh... That must have yes. been. Yeah. I did, oh, yeah. Ironically. I should say I have lucky. Maybe that'll change it <laughs> next time. So, uh, so continuing as prime, um, maybe certain of the, the Titans and, and the original 
And he just kind of stares off for a moment. The hand just bowing to the formation of things from the chaos. This prayer to Nix, the Nix itself. What does that mean, Prime? What does that mean? I, I have no idea. I mean, I haven't heard of anyone praying directly to the Nyx, in which, I mean, the Nyx obviously holds it all. It is that from which everything has been brought forth. It's, yeah. the, it's the creator of everything, you might say. There are gaps in the Nyx, aren't there? Isn't that something? Tears or, or places where it's more accessible? Could this potentially be like an in-between point? I, I suppose that's possible. Ateneus is just standing there looking back and forth between everyone, Ariana, as you. Tigros, maybe try to interact with it somehow. I'm investigating. And she bounces off and she <laughs> will do like little rounds of this whole area, like looking at the ground, looking at trees, looking up into the sky. She's just going to go nutso around this area. Uh, Tikaros, perhaps look at this one in particular and point. Uh, she's going to stand behind the kneeling one, so she's straight facing Apatneus. Okay, okay. Oh, sure. We can start yeah. there. Yeah, maybe what? touch hands with the statue. Or maybe it's interactive. Yeah. Guys I, are I so wanna, smart. I want to go give guidance to uh, Tikaros. Listen, it's a cantrip. I can do it whenever I want. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. So All right. she'll so creep forward. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're doing exactly what I was going to ask. Go ahead. <laughs> Tell me what you're doing. So I think she will creep forward. She will do like a cursory skim of the ground first, and then she'll put her hand up to the outstretched palm after that. Well, Hataneus is standing there, so you'll have to move him out of the way to reach the palm. Because he is literally hey. standing there with the hand <laughs> almost on his Scoot. chest. Ranger. Hataneus. Yes. I oh, want to take pardon a look. Me. Of course. And he just kind of sli will. slight smile, not sarcasm, just a slight smile as he steps aside. So I think she will do that quick scan and then do the outstretch palm. Okay. So let's have your investigation check. With guidance. With well, this guidance. guy turns out to be bad. Agrios ah. is going to be insufferable for weeks. <laughs> 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 I told all of you. <laughs> <laughs> 17. That is excellent. First, as you I don't appreciate forth... how good that impression was. Sorry. <laughs> it was very good. It was I'm quite sorry. Spot on. <laughs> First, as you place your hand out and touch this other hand, the black film that covers it crumbles slightly, flakes and pieces of it fall off, and underneath is kind of a stone like texture. How firmly do you press on this hand? I think she'd really lean into it. So she'd be like, yep, we're going to connect As you press here. into it and the black flakes off and bits of it kind of come off on your hand. But as you press, you notice the stone underneath and then the stone underneath begins to crumble <gasps> and fall like pieces of sand. And the hand oh, no. breaks off and falls to <gasps> the ground. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I broke the and, statue and she'll back up a little bit, a bit And distraught. as you back up, you get a, you, you were focused on that hand. As you back up, you, you get a look at the face and a couple of things come to you at once. First, this figure on the ground, her mouth is open as though she was saying something. She was in mid word. You notice inside her hand, She's clutching something that is shiny. And then you recognize the face. You've seen this person before. You stayed in their home. In Akros. Oh, no. Ariana standing this. directly behind it, looking down at you. Ariana, you know this face too. Really look at it. What? 
Look at the face. Turn around. And Krista forgets the name. You spoke, to, you spoke to her just a few days ago oh. as she was crying over the body of her lost partner and was deciding to return back home. Oh, Samat found it. <laughs> uh, she'll kind of drop down onto her knees and like put both hands on the side of her face and just sort of hold back crying but when have a touch moment the face again the black kind of and if you are touching with any any passion in your heart i think you're going to touch a little firmly than just a tap pieces of the face break and fall like sand she'll let go quickly um but look down at the thing that's you said there was a shiny something shiny something in her hand Yes, I agree. Yes. <laughs> have, have Ariana and Tikaros expressed that they know this woman, that who who it is? At uh, all? Ariana at all? would have sorry, Ariana, <clears throat> Ariana would have said Samat. At that point, Agrios is going to draw a weapon and start looking around as he realizes that whatever did this to them is probably still here somewhere or nearby. Okay. At the sound of your weapon being drawn, Pataneus is going to take the bow off and Look around. What is it? This is someone we saw recently. She was petrified. Then whatever did it may still be nearby. He will take and pull a single arrow and knock that arrow on his bow. And he will look to Agrios and Adrastos and you two are the strongest warriors in your group, I believe. Would you mind well, taking a look around the area? I will stay here and stand guard over your friends directly. Just check the area, make sure it is safe. We shouldn't discount Ariana. Ariana is not capable at the moment. And I'll put a hand on her shoulder and say, can you do this with us? Um. Before answering, um, she'll reach out and it is the thing like can be can the shiny thing be pulled out of Samat's hand? You'll have to try it to find out. I will try. Okay. Um, if it doesn't come free like easily, she will steal herself, put her hand over Samat's hand, and squeeze and crack the stone around it. Give me a dexterity check on the first one. I think Tikaros is right there. She'd be like her little hand on your shoulder, like understanding how hard this is. Uh, yeah, having both people on her shoulder clearly helped because that's an 18. All right. You are able to and, and you pull it out and you're worried at first as you pull on this as, as the hand moves and black flakes fall off, but then it pulls out directly without damaging anything further. And what does it look like? As you take this and look at it, it is a silvered symbol of Iroas on a chain around her neck. She'll um, she'll break the chain um, and sort of like tuck it right above her heart in her bodice uh stand up and <clears throat> let's go and draw her sword and strap on her shield maybe a little tighter than she normally does all right and nod right. will you investigate So if you guys are going to kind of check the area, uh, what mm -hmm. does it, he's asked you to, what does that mean to you? What are you going to do? I would use survival skills to check the ground to see Same. about creature movement. So That's kind of I'm go, doing. okay. Uh, how far out? How far around the area? 
still within view. Yeah, probably eye eye line. Okay. Agrios has yeah, Agrios has learned his lesson about traveling too far from the group, and he also <laughs> doesn't trust the others with this guy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, I'm sorry, Vara. Go ahead. I wanted to say while they're searching and while while things are touching, obviously it seems like these are directed at the river. So Vara, the entire time people are looking at things and interacting with the statues, she wants to keep an eye on the river and see if anything changes. Okay. All right. At any point. So you give me a perception, Vara. The rest of you give uh, Agrios, Ariana, and Adrastos do survivals. Uh, Tikaros, Katanes is going to turn to you and to Prime. Uh, you seem to have some uh, investigative experience, uh, Automaton. Um, can you tell how long they've been here? And he's going to look back and forth between you because you can kind of get the feeling... His impression is that the machine answers to you. So you saw previously he considers the machine to be subservient, a servant of some kind. So he, from what he's seen, he feels that you are in charge of it. Well, we can take a look, but I don't know much about this stuff. So my guess is as good as yours. Prime's going to answer. Well, actually, we could probably look at the plant life and see how when it was killed because they're leaning down on it maybe they've left a trace of something rhyme that's an excellent idea it's, yes, look. Well, it's all book knowledge <laughs> so how would you like to uh investigate this you can do investigate or survival all right probably survival given it's plant life okay yeah. very good okay oh so let's begin with vara and her perception 13. As you are watching the sea, you do not see anything strange ex about it. I mean, it just looks like a, a flowing river, obviously flowing the opposite direction you would, but only because you know which way it should be flowing. Um, there is no sign, however, of any tracks or anything on this beach. So however these people got here, it was either via the road, but there was no sign of somebody coming in through the brush. So it's kind of odd to you. How did they get in this location? They did not come how by did, road. They did not come by river. How did they get How there? did this person know about them either? Okay, cool. All right. Uh, to the survival checks. Ariana doesn't Eight. find anything. <laughs> yeah, I assume I don't either. Yeah. 16, okay. Uh, as you were looking around, you see no sign of anything, no threat. Uh, Ariana, Bobo is even going to leave your shoulder a bit and kind of flit among a few of the trees Bro. and look around and Bobo. come back and land on your shoulder and shake its head. Do, do I even find our own tracks coming this way? Uh, yes, absolutely. Okay. You will see the, the path sure. that you guys came in. <laughs> but Agrios, you especially can tell... There may have been some traffic on the road, but nobody has broken this brush line in some time. It was grown up. It was interweaved. There is no way somebody had crossed that brush line. He returns uh, after his investigation of the area. I have found something. What is it? I found that nothing came this way. The brush was not disturbed. So why don't you tell me, Ranger, what are we doing out here? I may trust the bones, but that does not mean I trust you. What did the bones tell you? They told me, well, they bode well for my uh for my investigation mm -hmm. and what is it then that you hope to find were you looking for trouble <laughs> he takes a javelin and points it in the direction of that ranger why don't you tell me what i have found horseman what we have found is a group of bodies 
in the woods. And from what you're telling me, mysteriously. Now, I don't know why you feel it is appropriate to point your weapon at me, but if you would like to retain it and your life, I would suggest you point it away now. Why have you lured us into a trap? Lured you? Your friend led the way. And you were very insistent about it. Something looked untoward. Nothing looked different. The only thing that looks off here is you. He is going to unknock his arrow. You all seem to be quite hyped up and looking to blame someone else. I have a question for you. If your god guy is so powerful, maybe this is a warning from him. Someone you know, and he'll point at Ariana, is the one that stands out from this group. Isn't that interesting? If this person is so powerful, does he know you're following? Does he know, or does he think that you're a threat? Could this be a warning to you? Instead of looking to blame me, maybe you should look a little deeper at yourselves. <laughs> Young Sata, have you found anything? Oh, I'm looking. I'm looking. Come on, Prime. Um, because Tikaros' family believes that Prime is smarter than her, she will assist him, if possible, <laughs> and guide him in this investigation. Okay. Oops. So that'll so be an D4. advantage. Oh, okay. Oh, Tikaros. Yeah. <laughs> She's going through the motions. She's like, I am an, I am an investigator. We are investigating. That's going to Our be a four... puts his javelin away right. for what it's worth. Cool. Thank you. That is going to be a 14 on that roll. So he is going to point out and, look, and point out some some twigs and things, some some greenery that has been broken over so that it's a green root and then brown where it has been broken. In. I don't think that would be something that would. I think if it had been more than a day, we'd see more that it would go down deeper and you would see the. And he'll take and look a little bit farther out and find some other pieces and break a piece and see if it's broken and fresh. You you see this. But look at that. It's It's been dead for a while and it is encroached on the living tissue a bit. I, I would suggest they've been here a day or less. Just a guess, mind you. Perhaps we'll never hear change no that would have been a few days ago right could someone with druidic magic not do this regrow plants i assume that would be possible sure it would be you know this person do you know any of the rest Uh, Ariana will take a look at the faces if she can, if she can duck down, because okay. their heads are all down, right? Yeah, they're like this. Yeah. yeah. Look under. Mm -hmm. And they're spaced a little bit apart, so there's room to do that. Um, mm -hmm. As you look at each one of these faces, they may be someone you passed in general in the streets. It's hard to know. There may be some familiarity, but not someone you know like you knew Samai. No one I know. Um, I'm I'm torn between leaving this here for further investigation, but I also do not like to leave the dead standing in their bodies as a hole on the beach. It seems disrespectful. I believe that death should be something quick, final. 
you are of the way. quite correct. <laughs> <laughs> I would be happy to help you with this, however, however you think is, is best appropriate. I suppose there are already ash, ash, there, right? there's something, yeah. Are they just? I, do we just further crumble them, return them to the earth? I, I believe that's appropriate. Ateneus is going to stand and look back and forth to the rest of everyone. Um, I suppose, you know, ashes to the earth. Um, I... I will take care of it, and if if anyone else wishes to join me, that's fine. But we should kind of glance at Ari um, Ariana and just. Uh, but if anyone wants to go and go back to the road and, and start prepping to continue, then that's fine as well. I'm I'm happy to do this by myself. Uh, are we like right next to the river? You're in between the river and the road. I'd say you probably have yeah. about sixty feet to the river and the same to the road cool so um ariana's gonna kind of nod her appreciation to vara to sort of deal with this thing i don't know is, is there any kind like does akros or eros have any kind of like death rituals uh there may be burning there may be burials uh there may be actually okay. uh at one point putting people in the river and letting them sail off to the sea in a burning cask. It's all sorts of different things because you have several different groups that come together. Uh, I mean, For obviously sure. the uh, the centaurs and the minotaurs from the area probably have their own rituals as well. Um, I think Ariana is actually going to um, try to grab, as gently as she can, grab most of Samath mm -hmm. and carry her to the river okay as you as you yeah. do this and it's obvious what you're trying to do uh Pataneus will stop and he will take the short almost cape that he wears and lay it down on the ground she'll nod her thanks friend. and kind of thank you um she'll tilt it down onto the cape and Should we do this for uh, all of them? Yes. Just they because we don't know them doesn't mean they don't have someone who did or is grieving currently. Exactly. They all deserve this. Yeah, Ariana will uh, let Samath sort of dissolve into the river. Okay. Um, and probably won't end up helping with any of the other ones, but we'll just kind of stand in the shallows for a little while. Mm -hmm. Having offered his cape, Patanaeus is just going to stand on the side again now that he's re-strung his bow across his chest, holding his bow and watching. Then he's going to turn back and... Where there's a little bit of the ash, this black and the stone-like material, he's going to take and scoop some of it up into a cloth and tie it and tuck it into his belt. Did we all see that? If you're it's... watching, it was not done secretively. Oh, I, I didn't take my eyes off this guy like a hawk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you done that? I think uh, we need some of our learned people to look at this and see what caused this. Mm. It seems a very odd way to die, don't you think? It almost seems as the... as the Nyx was pulled out of their bodies. Mm. Well, what makes you say that? I don't know. Uh, probably a very colorful way of referring to it. It's as though they were pulled out in the... I don't know, all this prayer to Nyx and the old gods. I guess it's uh, just triggered yeah, something I, in my mind. You do. You seem to know a lot about it. I mean, is there anything else you can tell us about the Nyx? Or, I mean, 
uh, you, you've had years of, of, of service as, as a as a ranger. I mean, have you come across anything like this before or, or have people talked to you about the mix? And we believe that might be part of what we're dealing with. So it makes sense that we encounter it. So if you do have any information, it, it would be important to us. I'm afraid not. I'm merely a soldier. Well, red, but... Uh... Sure. Very well. <laughs> Go ahead, Agris. <laughs> I remember your weapon of choice, Ranger, and I am as wary of your words as you were of my javelin. I see. And you're as hot-tempered and poor-mannered as the rest of your kin. <laughs> I really wish we would not talk like this while we're dealing with them. My apologies. I make no reference to them. And the gods should be ashamed for allowing such a thing to happen. You blame the gods for this. Well, I could blame you. You killed the local minor deities. You've also said that you've angered someone who has the power of the gods. Do you accept the blame for this? Shush. <laughs> Bar will like hold a hand up to him and, and, she, and she's dealing with the bodies and, and coins. And <laughs> if, if, if this is what you're going to talk about, then go talk about it somewhere else. So I, I hope I, I hope you mean you literally put your hand up to Patanaeus yeah. and shush. No, she's I, yeah, yeah, she's she's deeply offended by the fact that he's and he, that he'll he'll stop and he'll areas. stop and he will close his mouth and just look at you with this indignant look. <clears throat> go, go do your own thing. I've got it taken care of, and she'll just continue with the bodies. All right. So it'll take uh, a bit of time for you to do this carefully with each body and collect sure. as much of them as you can to put out into the river. But as you put each body into the river, it does seem to dissolve. The black part first, it, it almost dissipates and crumbles into the water in a way unlike any material you've, you've necessarily seen before. It's it's almost like it. It's almost like it hates the life of the water, just a feeling you get as you watch this, and the bodies just slowly fade and are pulled down the way with the stream towards Akros. Hmm. Well, if you're completed here. I suppose we should continue on our way to Data. I believe so. And she'll kind of uh, take one of the minted coins uh, that she got and just place it. She'll she'll bury it in the center of where the circle was. All right. Very good. When you are all done and get back on the road, he will lead the way. Quietly. He won't be saying anything. It depends on what you guys are doing. But he's just going to quietly lead the way into town. As you approach the gates to the town, after taking a small bend around this mound of, of dirt, that it's a mix of natural and reinforcement that has been made up against the city wall. And you can see two very large buildings, one being that tower that you saw from a distance away, and there is another very large building, almost uh, competing with the height of the tower. Both of them would be quite noticeable from the sea. As you approach the gates, the two guards at the gates who are, you know, they're kind of relaxed a little bit. Nobody was coming in and out. As they see the ranger turn the corner, you see as they kind of, uh, oh, ranger, you know, and they're kind of very casual. And then all of a sudden, one of them stiffens up, and you can see that he says something to the other, and the other one comes to an almost attention. 
And as your group approaches, the guard on either side put their hand to their chest. Commander. <laughs> and he continues to escort you inside. He looks back. Come with me. Come on. And he'll, he'll gesture to the two guards at the gate and then continue to walk you into town. You're headed straight for that really large building that I mentioned to begin with. Are there any symbols on it? Like, does it look like... As you get closer, uh, you can definitely tell this is a temple of Iros. Mainly because of the large depictions all around it of Iroas being victorious over Mogus in various scenes of battle. <laughs> oh no. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> in the in the way of brothers, they're gonna emphasize the one time they got over on the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Ariana is kind of, uh, she's going to pull the, the symbol that she got off of Samath and just sort of, is it still, is it metal, I guess? Yes, it is. Yeah. She'll probably just kind of thumb it clean as she walks, not looking at it, but just sort of fiddling with it. Okay. Definitely a symbol of Iroas. Um, a, a, vic a victory medal, basically. A Rose's stamp is that of something hero. She, is that something she had? Like, would I have known that this was something she kept on her? Uh, it's not something you're aware of that she... It's not something she would have ever shown. But she was not a woman to wear baubles and jewelry, either. Interesting. Sorry to always be interjecting. We, we are we still in the presence of that ranger? Oh, absolutely. He is escorting you into town. You're actually headed Agrius, towards the bay. Agrius will trot up toward him, actually. Um, Hail, Commander. May I ask you something? You just did. Continue. <laughs> Earlier, you spoke of my people. To whom did you refer? The centaurs. People All of, of Paris, them. Of course. Ah. Uh, then you did not think me uh, one of the Lagana, I suppose. Uh, no, uh? not specifically. You have a lot of experience with the fairies. I'm sorry? Say that again. I apologize. You have a great deal of experience with the fairies, then. Some, yes. You might as well know that there are a lot of feelings around Data and Akros as well. Minotaurs. <laughs> Centaurs and even Leonin <laughs> are not exactly um, appreciated in many times, but this is the time of the games and all are welcome. As long as they behave themselves and don't go pointing javelins at people. Not without cause. And at this point, you come to a building. To your left is that really large temple of Aroas, and to the right, is a building that looks like a military outpost. And several troops will come out of the building. And Commander, excellent. Arrest this group. Place them in cells. <laughs> they have killed the Roggen Wolf, and they have upset the status quo. At which point, you will be surrounded by armed soldiers. Them. So you find yourself surrounded by 12 armed hoplites and three archers that you can see. And they quickly move to surround you. 
the archers have bows out, have an arrow, but the arrow is not yet not. And all of the hoplites are armed with either spears or swords. And they are drawn. All right, so where do we go from here? What it, what exactly is the decorum? <laughs> I'm willing. I'm. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> well, the appropriate. I assume you said that out loud, or was yes. that to the part? Okay. No, that was I, yeah. The appropriate thing to do would be accept a rest until we can determine what has been happening with you, and I can verify who you say you are with Acros. We have a we have. Would you trust a message by bird? We could verify by bird. As long as you're willing to sit in the cell until that is done, and I have my people in Akros who can verify as well, I'm fine with however it is transmitted. I do not wish mm -hmm. to keep you in jail any longer than necessary if you are who you say you are. Oh, I... Don't necessarily have an argument to that, but we were honest in telling you that we've been doing our best to try and prevent these disasters or, or, or look further into them to prevent harm. So uh, jailing us may potentially either allow harm to happen somewhere where we're not able to stop it or investigate it to continue this chase that we've informed you of. Um, or, in the event that they're focusing on us, which might be possible, then you're bringing unwanted attention to this area and some of your own people may get hurt. So as long as you're willing to accept those risks, I personally will sit in jail. That's fine. Do you have books? Can I read? Is it allowed? I don't care what you do once you are secured. Fine by me. I assume, though, um, it's not going to be fine by everybody. And Vara will just kind of, <laughs> Vara's going to take a seat because she like, <laughs> she's just going to sit on the ground because she has a feeling that things are going to get heated. <laughs> and she just kind of wants to be ducked out of the way. <laughs> uh, Ariana is going to unstrap her shield, pass it to the one of the hoplites, draw her sword, hand it to yeah. one of the hoplites. As you draw your sword, you see several people... <laughs> kind of mm -hmm. bow up yeah she does it in that kind of like grabs it like with her backhand and sort of tosses it out and catches it by the blade and hands okay. it over and then sits down next to vara oh. nice to have you here with me and my little sit <laughs> i'm is going to be and tick rose you're going to notice this as soon as the guards surrounded Prime actually stuck out his hand in front of you and almost placed himself in front of you for a moment. Oh, Prime. Yes. Oh. I'm going to, can I test this? I've never tested this before, but as he does that, I want to try and see if I can speak into his mind and say, okay. it's going to be okay, Prime, and see if it works. Okay. He will turn to you and go, I'm sure it will. Let's join Vara. Yeah, let's sit. And we sit beside you, Vara and Ariana. Oh, and um, before Ariana sits down, uh, she's going to grab Ptolemaeus and just yeah. sit him down. I inquire <laughs> something. What is normally the sentence for slaying Rogan wolves? Well, since it hasn't been done before, it's hard to say what it will be. Again, <laughs> Depending on what we find out, it may be justifiable. But as it is, you seem to be people who are saying there is a threat, and I cannot ascertain whether the threat is you or someone else. Hmm. Adrastus is going to growl, take off his shield, put his sword in it, and just kind of toss it at one of the hoplites. Your soft-skinned politicking bores me. Make this quick. He's going to sit down. Agrius just kind of smirks mm. as he remove, calmly removes each of his weapons. Axes, javelins, morning star. <laughs> I can see you as one of those people that starts putting stuff on the table. Yeah. Just oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just one thing after another. Yeah, he has, he has a, a few different weapons. Um, <laughs> I love it. 
uh, any yeah oh the battle axe yeah battle axe uh spiked club two hand axes <laughs> a javelin uh a quarter staff or sorry no three javelins a quarter staff and a shield mm -hmm. and with that uh a hoplite will come up check each one of you to make sure there aren't additional weapons he will remove the knives and things from ptolemaeus and so Anything that's not a weapon, you are welcome to keep on you. So he's not going to take just, your augury bones or anything like that. When he comes to horn, check. That'll be a problem. I'm sorry, what was that, Agrius? If he tries to take my horn, that'll be a problem. No, they will not take your horn, Andrastus. All right. When he comes to uh, check me for weapons, I'm just going to smirk at him and like flex my fingers and say, <laughs> do you have any mittens? <laughs> 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 And he will look over his shoulder and say, no, but I do have archers. Wonder which one of us <laughs> Meanwhile, is this guy's like much shorter than you. So he's kind of looking up at you, trying to, you know, be tough guy as he, <laughs> as you flex your claws. <laughs> Hopefully we won't be needing these. Is this, including, is this including shields and things? <clears throat> yes. Shields, okay. Anything will... that's... A defensive or offensive weapons and shields can be used as an offensive weapon so it would sure. be taken away but armor yes no most of your some armor you could if your armor is your primary clothing it would not be taken but if it's just armor then it probably would sure okay to the hoplite that took my fancy shield and they're like take good care uh -huh. of that i'm going to want it back in the same condition and you can kind of see the a bit of disdain in his eye and he goes we take care of everything that is put into our care. Hmm. That's and encouraging. He'll like, he'll like pick a little bit of fur that's gotten stuck in the handle off and flick it away. <laughs> the same condition, every hair. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, you will be escorted into a room that it is has bars on the windows, and is secured once you get in. The door is secured behind you. All of you are placed in the same room. It is about 10 by 20. Has a single window to the outside and has the door to the inside. Food will be brought in an hour. I, lo I love that Tam was like, I'm so excited for this upcoming session this week. I'm even more excited than usual. And the session is, you're in jail. Yeah. <laughs> throw, the, throw the party in jail. Directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not pass to jail. Criminal. The session's not over yet. Oh, oh I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So you are put into the cell and the door mm. is secured. And there's a small window type thing in the door, and the commander will look in and rest easy. Uh, by the way, he will have uh, requested your bird come with him, and oh, it yeah, will not. Yeah, it will not go directly to him, but it does go to one of his hoplites. Oh, interesting. Who would? If you would like to send a message, prepare it. And then however you tell this to go to your person there, I will include a message as well to the guard of Akros. Of course. Uh, it, uh, we're writing to Davios, right? Dav Akros? That's... And the, the, the guy that owns the guy yeah. that owns the dolphin. Yes. Dracos. Dracos. Yeah. Sorry, I, even I did bad on the name that time. I'm like, wait a minute, who's <laughs> she talking about? Anyway, who the am I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Dracios, isn't it? Dracios. Yeah, sorry, Dracios, yeah. Um uh, Vara, do you mind composing a note? Oh, um, sure. Uh, and I'll just pen out something very simple. Like, there's been a misunderstanding with um, some hoplites. We need to prove uh, that we've been entrusted with your boat and that we're respectable people in general. Uh, if, if you could sign off with your signature, 
uh, and perhaps speak to one of their people in the city to sign off as well. Uh, that would get us out of a bit of a predicament. <laughs> and that would be the note. <clears throat> so she's been, so the, the, the meat of that is that she's requested both his signature as well as the signature of, I, I would ask, like, who, is there someone you trust in Akros uh, where if we get their signature that would help guarantee um, our release? That is why I am including a message to the god of okay. Akros. Lovely. All right. <laughs> What was that, Agrios? Hmm? Oh, no. Oh, I thought you were holding something up. Oh, uh, I, uh, sorry, I was just fiddling with something. My bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> How dare. <laughs> I thought he was showing something like, hey, uh, DM, you know. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, cool. Okay. So with that, um, Ariana, he will allow you to give instructions to Boba. Bobo to yep. get out there. Boba, he's now a cup of tea. To go out there and fly. And uh, send the message. As for the rest of you, you are now comfortably in jail. And the commander leaves, and uh, there is one hoplite stationed outside the door. <laughs> so, um, no one's ever slain one of those wolves before, and yet it's a crime for some reason. Inventing new crimes to arrest us for. What sort of punishment do you think he'll invent for it next? I, I still believe this person is acting in good faith. Huh. Well, I haven't had good experiences with, with a crow and rangers. Understandable. This is boring. Tikaros is going to go to the door and start inspecting the lock. How is it secured? Uh, there is definitely a mechanism on the outside. It's like a slide bolt that is holding it closed. Uh, but the actual security comes from the hoplite who is watching the door from outside. He is stationed across. So instead of standing by the door facing away, he is facing towards the door. I'll just smile at him. He'll smile back. But just a little bit of a smile. Um, do you have any books that I could have? I'm a guard, not a librarian. There aren't any books on base? I had mentioned books. It seemed like there were some potentially available. I will see if someone can find one. That would be lovely. Any particular <laughs> subject? No, I just like to read. Okay. Passing the time. All right. Uh, Ariana has uh are there like beds or benches or yeah there'll be a couple of benches or sleeping benches and then some sleeping mats around the room gotcha uh Ariana has found a bench in the corner and is pulling in agrio slash adrastos and brooding yeah. Yeah, exactly mm -hmm. just to be honest and fair and clear there's you never restrooms in these games I put one in I'm sorry go ahead <laughs> Do you think Drakios will get us out before our execution? Execution? I doubt <laughs> they'll execute us over this. Well, like I said, I have little reason to trust the Crow and Rangers. Um, I think so. I think we at least have time for the letter. I mean... <clears throat> it would be cruel for them to say that if, if we got some kind of signature or sign off that we would be accepted then for them not even to wait for that arrive. So uh, whatever amount of time that Bubo has, I mean, takes to fly in back, I, I think we'll be fine. I really just uh, think of this as an extended sleep and watch. <laughs> I, if anything, we... we probably need this. This is this is a forced break that uh if anything, I think maybe we should welcome. Your optimism is refreshing. Oh. Thank you. After, I've, uh, uh, I've been in a break before. 
<laughs> I've, I've sat in this cell in a ship before. It's where I was put when I was being bad when I was little. So I, uh, I don't mind this at all. I just need a book. Okay. After about an hour, food will be brought. And uh, Vara, you will be brought a, a book. Um, it is, uh, well, a set of scrolls, technically. But Ooh. you're brought up a set of scrolls. And they're basically uh, port maritime laws. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Yay, thank you. <laughs> and Vara will take it and she'll just start kind of reading through it. And oh, we never followed any of these. <laughs> <laughs> So food is brought. It's it's palatable enough, you know. It's 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 prison food. It's not the best stuff in the world, but uh, it's good enough. And after, unless you guys are going to do something, after about three hours, the guard is changed. Another hoplite comes in. The only thing I'm going to do is take a short rest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just sitting. Mm -hmm. The time is passing. The hours go by. After, another... After about hour four, Adrasus is going to take one of his claws and just ding, 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 the guard is changed again, so apparently they're going to change the guard every three hours. It is moving on now and getting close to evening. Time. So you've been in there six hours, basically, at this point. At some point, how Agrio started doing prayers. Okay. How long did it take Ubo last time? Uh, it was like a day, it, right? It was a day, yeah. Yeah. I think Ariana will consider doing prayers, watching Agrios do his, but then not. But continue to sort of thumb the metal and investigate it a little bit closer. Just spend a lot of time just staring at it. Okay. Oh. As you investigate this, uh, being from Akros, you would recognize awards that are given for various things from the games. And as you look at this and think about it and analyze it, this is actually an award that would be given to someone uh, who had done exceptionally well in uh, one of the fighting contests. And neither her or Thectri, mm -hmm. um, neither of them were ever in the games. Not that I knew of. That you knew of, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And there's no name on it. It's, it's just a, it's for fighting. Yep. Hmm. And it it's it's not like a a single, it's for like overall. It's like a no. It it would be for a single event. A oh, for a single event, fighting event. A particular event. Okay. Gotcha. After about the seventh hour, Prime kind of shifts a little bit against the wall and begins tapping his fingers together, kind of like Adrasto. How long does Adrastos keep up the tick 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 on the bars until it starts to annoy the hopolite? <laughs> oh, that happens pretty quickly, but he doesn't say mm -hmm. anything, but you can tell he's unhappy about it. Mm -hmm. But oh. Prime starts tapping his fingers together, mm. almost absentmindedly. Hmm. Tikaros will copy him. Oh, you know, I could really use an offering for these prayers. Hey, uh, Hoplite, do you have any more of those wolves I could sacrifice? You know, the sacred ones. He will call another hoplite into the room, whisper something into his ear, and then stand back against the wall. Oh. 
I'm just going to continue. Hmm. Hmm. Let me just go back to tapping the screen. Absolutely. What do you got? You're thinking, you're thinking. What have you got? Well, multiple things. One, um, I was supposed to return once you made your way to the harbor. I was supposed to return to Melitus. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Also, what, what was this he was referring to about the person you're chasing knowing you're chasing them? The entity that we've seen at, or group of entities that we've seen at the scenes of all of these godly attacks. The figure in a cloak, there was one at the arena, there was one on the night of the Black Smoke. Do you think it's possible that this entity knows that you're following them? It's very likely. We haven't been very subtle. Then is it possible that Samath's body and those four people were meant for you to find them? That they were a message? If they are a message, then I assure you. And at, at this point, like, Adrastos is kind of like standing up to his full height. I assure you that if the message was to frighten us or turn us away, it had the opposite effect. But I have Samat to... was a dear friend of someone in my tribe. To be treated in that way just makes the entity that perpetuated this crime lower in my eyes. But if we were to take you, if your self, your, if, if it was not all about you in this, Didn't the wolves were unusual in attacking, and I, I presume Agrios did nothing to incite the violence. I mean, it's a big Not presumption. This time. So, therefore, the damage that happened to the farmer and which was related to the wolves being aggressive towards you, and if that was caused by this same entity. Isn't your following causing more damage? You know, I think we've speculated on that, right? A, a lot of the events that have occurred, um, I mean, when we all formed as a group, right? We, we met and the temple fell and then we traveled and there was the games and uh, what happened and Melitus and uh, I, I guess you could say it seems to either be following us or we're following it, but why? I, I, I guess maybe the question is, uh, there does seem to be some correlation, but regardless of who's following who, why? And I is fear the old... Sorry, Vara. I just, is there something special about this group? I mean, are we feared? Should we not be together? Is... I do fear the alternative would be worse if we were to stop following this group. When we were unaligned and ununited, hundreds died. We have to put a stop to it. If we stop chasing them, yes, there may be less collateral damage for things that happen to us, but it will just happen to someone else. I mean, is that... Is that worth testing? Do we maybe voluntarily stay here and see if another tragedy occurs? I I hate to just let people die like that, but death is a natural 
uh, you know, and, and peaceful ultimatum for everyone eventually. So perhaps... to be honest, that was my thinking as well. It was one of the reasons that I agreed to be imprisoned for a crime that none of us committed. Yeah, perhaps we should just stay here and, and see what happens. I do think There's it's... no way I'm staying here. This is a mystery, and there's secrets out there, and we're smart. We have to go and find them. But we have to prove to other people that us solving them is helpful. If they see that tragedies will continue with or without us, then they will be more likely to help us stop the tragedy. Or more likely to put you in jail and hold you on the sidelines, not being sure exactly your role in this. I'm just saying that you're in a very awkward position. <laughs> I guess we, <laughs> I guess I'm in the group at the moment. We're in an awkward position that the trouble seems to be with us. Had Ptolemaeus not found the artifact in the stadium, would it have harmed so many people? Would it have harmed less? Hmm. Well, what do we know about us? I, we all serve a god, right? Or no? No. We all serve the gods, whether we know it or not. Hmm. How do you select the god that you serve? I do not suppose I serve you. any, but then I was created by Perforos and Nikos. There you are. So I serve Perforos, even though I do not praise Perforos? Have I been doing wrong by not doing so? Well, it's ultimately your choice. Hmm. I feel there are many like Adrastos that serve the gods without praising them, so. I serve no one but my own interests. My fate is my own. If the gods profit from what I do, that has nothing to do with me or my intent. Precisely. I am not saying that as a negative. I'm simply stating it as how it happens. Well. To a Leonin, the thought of serving the gods is a negative. Our history with them is fraught and violent. What exactly is that history, if you don't mind? Eons ago, when our race was young, we trusted the gods, and they betrayed us almost to the detriment and destruction of our race. Hmm. Now we do not view them so cautiously. My clan, when they were alive, as you now know they are not. My clan tried to live alongside the gods, work not for them, but in accordance with their wishes. And we were the only clan left wiped out by servants of another god. I just, I don't know, it's so interesting. I, we have such a wide breadth of individuals in this party. I thank you for sharing, Justice. I, my condolences. Um, uh, you know, but the, the way you compare to, to an oracle of Mogus or I guess an oracle of something, um, I follow, I'm, I'm just someone who was on a ship. I mean, I believe I have a divine destiny, but um, I don't know. I if if we were all united under some same cause or or banner or had similarities between us, then I suppose it would make sense that potentially we were targeted by something or someone. But we're all so different. Why would why would we be? at the cause or, or a reason for 
um, for destruction. I would quote a blacksmith from my town. As ore drawn from different stones forged together can create a powerful weapon, so people from different backgrounds and different ideals forged by the bonds of friendship and camaraderie, or if nothing else, shared shared animosity to a common foe. We become directed. We are simply oars from different rocks. I'm just going to turn to Tikros. What god do you serve? Well, it's a little confusing to me, but what I know is what an oracle told me. She said, Grufix has claimed you. You must search the world. You must do Grufix's will, but Grufix never talks to me. And I don't know what his will is. How can we know the will of the gods? He'll turn his head to Agrios, and Agrios claims to know the will of Mogus. Yes. I have been marked for service to Mogus since I was a child. I believe the will of the gods is expressed in everything around us. Perhaps you do serve the will of Krufix, whether you know it or not. Again, well, I'm not serving it in this jail. <clears throat> but if you don't know what the will is, say that. how do you know? Maybe that is the will that you be in this jail. I agree. Oh, wow. I hope mm -hmm. that's not the case. <laughs> What do you think Rufix's will would be? I think he's secretive. And that suits me because I like secrets too. So maybe finding secrets, which is what we're doing on this mission. We're uncovering secrets that people don't want to know about. I'm afraid I don't have any secrets. I'll try to come up with one so that you can maintain interest and try to find out what it is. Oh, I would love that. Yes, Prime. It could be that you have secrets so secret that even you don't know about them. Oh, it hurts my brain, Agrios. Uh... Oh. I have that effect on people sometimes. <laughs> Night has fallen. Another few hours have passed. The guard has changed again. There are always guards mm -hmm. present inside the base. There is always one outside of your door. And there are those that make their patrols around as well. Um, the commander left some hours ago, shortly after you were put in the room. and. When the bird, when your bird was sent off with the message. Well, uh, seeing as we're here, I think we're fairly safe and secure. If you all would like to rest, I'm more than happy since I do not sleep. To keep an eye out. Hmm. As Ptolemaeus appears to have already gone to sleep. <laughs> I think it's something in the tea. I drank some tea about a, like a couple days ago, and I was just out for two days. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Staying away from that, then. Mm, good idea. Yes, I think perhaps there's not much else to do. A bit of sleep would do us good. Mm. Mm. If in so theory, though, we did break out, how would we do it? These joints here. I, I, I point to, to 
Uh, <laughs> different hand is, do you think I was just doing this for fun? No, no, no. I was testing the strength of these bars in case we have uh, to break out. Don't worry, Agrios, uh, so I'm on this. No, I can easily get out, but getting away without being shot by archers, that's the hard part. Mm, leave that to me. I've got to be honest, I think we could take them. You took exactly. two rules practically by yourself. Um, but yes, I mean, I, I can shape water as long as there's some kind of water skin, which they did not take from us, and I could simply, I mean, in theory, if we waited long enough, I could tunnel us out with water, just eroding slowly but surely. Anyways, I don't, I don't think we need to worry about that. Then. Oh, do we feel the need to take watches? I, I, I'm relatively trusting, but I know not all of us are. So, if that's something we want to do, I think why wouldn't you rotation. trust me? I have only your best interests. Prime said he would be awake. I think Prime can wake us if there's anything he needs to be awake for. Yes. Yeah. Let us trust Prime. Ariana's already on a mat, like <laughs> it's like an arm <laughs> over her eye. Even still, still down. flipping her coin. <laughs> all right. Well, if all of Adrastos you going... is yeah, gonna Sorry. sleep and probably have a nightmare at some point in the night, but not a loud one. All right. If all of you are going to rest, then it will be a wonderful, restful evening with no disturbances. And morning, you are awakened when your wonderful breakfast of gruel arrives. And is brought to you. Marana will accept it without complaint and eat it. After about an hour, uh, you hear a, a bustle go through. Commander's on his way. So everybody kind of straightens up, you know, because. And. Oh, should I comb my hair? <laughs> after a few minutes, the door opens and you hear salutes and commander. Uh, morning, morning. And he walks back into the air. Why is there a guard outside of the room? Watch the prisoners, sir. What prisoners? And he makes his way back into the door and looks in and looks at across all of you. Who the hell are you and why are you in my jail? That tracks. I'm going to kill someone. Yep, that's a problem. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. We would be happy to solve this if you would let us out. And he's going to turn to the hospital. I've just been on duty all evening, sir. I don't know. Um, why are you in my jail? Who because are you? you, or someone pretending to be you, told your guards to put us here. And he's going to kind of turn and just walk out without another word. Okay, are you going to let us out? Uh, yeah, we, yes, we need to, someone was impersonating you. <laughs> All right, I've had enough. He reaches through the bars and opens the bar and pushes the door open. <laughs> <laughs> if you put your arm through there, you are going to get it cut by a sword. So it's up to you if you want to try. Because <laughs> the guard is still outside there. Yeah. It's your call. I'm just letting you know. Is there I, only he, one guard? Is, that's my question. Yeah, I, I'm at the point where I'm like, if he hits me with a sword, I'm just going to just bonk. Open the door and knock him out. Because, yeah, it's, I, I add, Adrastos is, has had enough. He has reached his limit. All right, so you're going to reach your hand towards the door to open the mechanism. I'm, I'm going to say, are you going to let us out to the guard? If he doesn't move, then yes. Uh, uh, not until the commander orders so. If you will just be patient. I'm sure this will be sorted out. All right. Do it, address us. Do it, do it, do it. My patience is <laughs> worn out. Yeah, no, no I'm opening. I, I, oh. <laughs> Adrastos is impatient. Vara's like clutching her maritime laws, like he's <laughs> like rereading some of them, like in anxiety. <laughs> that is a uh, dirty 20. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I knew I was going to take damage. It's <laughs> gonna keep going anyway damn in these fucking 20s dude what are you <laughs> well that was a dirty 20 i mean and that yeah, is uh five, that is five uh slashing damage as he cuts across your arm okay and calls out for other guards 
So I think we will have to if you if you plan to continue this, we will have to go into initiative order. So I not, plan you know. to continue this. I trust us. There are so many more important things that we need to do. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> no, if, if anyone is, is actively trying to stop me, please do. I have to play in character. <laughs> please, oh, I'm please. I'm so proud can, of you, Adrastos. Can I? Please roll in this shit. Okay. These if, are not our if, enemy. Hang on. There's a person <laughs> impersonating people. That's our enemy. This is just a dude doing his job. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ariana is going to stand up. How much damage did you take? Five. Five slash. Five. She will give you five points of lay on hands and just rest a hand against your back. Adrastos. Patience is a virtue. I know you do not have, but please in this moment have it. So I am going to roar and very loudly yell, let us help you. You're wasting us in here. And with that, use my daunting roar to try and frighten him into letting us out. Roll me an intimidation, I guess. Well, it's uh, it's a wisdom oh, oh, save. Oh, wisdom save. He fails it and backs away from the door as three other hoplites enter the room. Okay. And they're like all, you know, poised <laughs> spears and blades towards the door. And whatever you want to do. Can I step up kind of next and just like, Still hands on, uh, on Adrastos. I'm gonna lean in the door and and um, we are not your enemies. Can you please grab your commander and allow us to help you? One of the guards will look over at you and go, "Look, I was here last night. I know you sent the mechanical bird. It should be back soon, right?" Yes. Just sit tight. There's no reason to fight. The more you fight, the less likely you're going to walk out of here. Can we give our explanation of how we have met who we thought was your commander? I'm sure he will be back in just a moment. He is conferring with other guards from the previous night. Understandable. Adrasto just slams his hands on the gate and walks away. The the one Thank who uh, slashed you. I'm I'm sorry. I he, his arm came through, and I just I had to stop him. I, you have your job to do. Yeah, we've we've dealt with a lot. Adrastos takes okay. a deep breath and says, "I have no animosity towards you. You're doing your job. You're just doing it poorly." Well, he's a very good dog. He can't even lick his balls without being told by his master. For a second, I thought you were talking about me, Agrius, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had this I had this whole speech and conversation last night about why perhaps this group attracts chaos. And you know, I think we're doing a brilliant job at explaining it. Oh my god. We don't attract gracious. it. We bring it, baby. We are the chaos. <laughs> we are the drama. Yep. Goodness. I love it. Oh man. Um Ariana is going to stand with her back to the door to make sure nothing like this happens again. He's <laughs> <laughs> just going to wait. Keeping a mind our eye on Tikaros as well, expecting her to possibly try to do something as well. <laughs> is anybody else going to try something uh, before <laughs> I go on to the next phase of what's <sighs> happening here? <laughs> as much as I want to, as much as I want, as Agrios would want to, I don't want to. <laughs> Because I know that it's, we can just, I just kind of want to get on with this and get out of jail. Yeah, I'm, I'm at the point now where I just want things to move on. And not be a wanted fugitive for the rest of my life. Standing, after, about, after about half an hour, the commander is going to walk in again and look in and say, you say that you came into town with me yesterday. My guards corroborate that. I do not yes. remember returning with you. I went out for a short patrol, came back, woke up this morning in my room. I do not remember seeing any of you. I've also been told that you've apparently killed two wolves. Yes. Um, 
All right, let's go ahead and regale you, shall we? Uh, we are traveling um, to data. We are on our way to uh, procure a ship that we've been told we can use um, by someone in Ekros, who we sent a bird to verify for the guard and the person, whoever it was, that put us here, um, who I guess admittedly probably just wanted to slow us down. What was the we name of this up. person? Uh, a pat, a pat, a a Patanaeus. 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 Something Patanaeus. Like that. Yes. His name was Patanaeus. literally Imposter. Ah. <sighs> yes. I suppose it was. We met him. Uh, well, I'm sure you've seen strange happenings around. Um, the river has been flowing the incorrect way, and uh, we were camping and, and wolves attacked us. Um, they were very vicious, and, and we did have to kill them in self-defense, and, and that following morning we discovered a farmer who had uh, experienced a loss of his crops due to, to hogs that those wolves are typically supposed to prevent. These were the based on... large white wolves? Yes. The townspeople, the villagers outside, cons consider them to be some sort of gods and guardians of the gods. They're smart animals, but they're just animals. Yes, I, I, it seems like they typically make some kind of offerings to them, and they typically, uh, I'm sure they're simply doing what animals do and eating the hogs in the nearby area, but uh, something must have upset them, perhaps this imposter. Um, to the point where they were no longer doing their duty. So we helped a farmer repair his fence, um, spoke with this ranger who we believe to be you, and uh, they started to take us here. Unfortunately, we told them a decent amount about us and where we're going and what we're doing. But um, on our way here, we discovered a circle of figures, some people that we had known that perished in Akros. They were statuesque, crumbled in your hands. Um, and he had led us to that spot specifically and told us that he thought it might be a warning to us. And it turns out that was probably him giving us that warning. So he then led us here and told them to jail us. And now he's probably long gone. So that's that's about the events. Any any other specificities I'd, I'd be happy to clarify or, or others could, could speak on. Yes. Quick question. Um, does this guy look like the Apatneus that we met? Yes. Or vice versa. It, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was just trying to figure out if like if he looked the same to us or if he looked to Except the th guards this, different than this we guy's did. face is definitely more emotional because he goes through flashes of anger, irritation, and disdain as Vara tells the story as he's continually just kind of gobsmacked, looking at various times angry and various times looking across all of you like, are you some kind of idiots? Yeah. That we are. <laughs> Many of us never claim to be intelligent. <laughs> Deranged. Stone a lot of books but um that doesn't really prepare you for interacting with people does it <laughs> you know if you're going to judge all of us for being idiots perhaps you should check with every single member of your guard who know mm. you we have met you once they know you as the commander and yet they followed you yes imposter without a second thought but people they've never met in prison without a second thought for a crime that didn't even exist before now so if you're going to judge us judge them first Oh, trust me, we will be having discussions about this. Lovely. Well, oh, are we free to go? I mean, we need to find this person. I, have no, I have no reason to keep you here. Then what get out about, of our way! What of, these, oh. what of this about dead bodies? Uh, there was you what said appeared that... to be a ritualistic type of warning of um, gosh, there was about eight or nine bodies and, and it formed in a circle. 
or not exactly a circle, but looking to the river, I, either it was part of what caused the river to change or was simply just a warning. They intentionally to, to upset us. Yeah, they were turned into some kind of stone that that would crumble easily. I, it had to do with the Nyx. He said that himself. Is there something you could do? Could you draw a map to the location for my men? Because sure. quite frankly, I would like for you to be on your way while we investigate. Well, it was nighttime, so what you could do, and Vargas does a very complicated explanation of how <laughs> he can chart the star map and find his way exactly there, because at this point, this was here. And <laughs> so. Wonderful. Get them their <laughs> equipment, escort them to their ship, and get them out of my port. Great. <laughs> I didn't want to be in your bloody fort. So he will leave the area and your equipment will be brought to you. Sweet. This is a, a like the prison is part of the temple. It's across from it. So if you look on the map here, this big, hold on just a second. Let me get on the thing so I can ping the map. This large building here is that temple I was talking about from a distance. So you're in this building here, which is kind okay. of a mix of a, a, a barracks and a, a jail, this area that's been set aside for it. Okay. And so, and, and so this big temple is both Heliod and Iroas? No, that, no the, the, large, the large temple is Iroas. The Heliod tower is over here. Got it. Tower of Heliod, Temple of Eros. Temple of Eros. Perfect. Yes. Um, yes. Once we're out of here, I think Ariana will want to stop over there. Well, they once you're out of there, they will escort you directly to the docks into the ship. Okay. She and, will not uh, complain. Well, no, it, they'll, they'll just take you to it. So that was what they were told to do. From there, it's up to you what you want to do at that point. So but they will take you to the docks and you will be guided to your ship. But if you want to do anything else, I want to do that before I change maps. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Vara, how long do you expect until we're seaworthy? Oh, goodness. Um, well, it was dry docked, which I had never even heard of because every ship I've ever been on has been at sea for years. Um, <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what do I think? I'll go ahead and assess. I mean, it's it's in good shape. It's been pulled out. There is no obvious hull damage or anything to it. Uh, it's a single main cell. There is a drift sail on the front of it. Um, it has a below decks. It's it's basically a keel boat. Okay. So cool. while you could take this out to sea, you probably wouldn't want to go deep out to sea in it. Sure. Well, with everything going on, I, I would I would be sticking to the land anyways. Um I I mean as long as we um well, I need to show you all the best way to be on a ship, which will take a, a few hours just to cover the basics. Um We'd want to make sure we're stocked. Um, obviously, we won't have access to food or anything like that. Set up a good area for bedding. Um, I don't know, half a day? Uh, do you mind if I take a moment to go to the temple? Oh, no, not at all. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so she'll want to pop over there. Okay. Ariana, do you want some <clears throat> company? Uh, always. Yeah, I'd love to learn more about this God stuff. I'm just going to watch and I won't do anything silly. Okay. While I don't believe that, that I appreciate your earnesty. Uh, wonderful. Uh, Tikaros and Ariana will go to the Temple of Eros. Uh Prime will <laughs> accompany you and so will uh, one of the hoplites because they're not going to let you loosen the... Uh city by yourselves oh. so you will have not to a be problem escorted. ariana will be pleasant and like ask his name and shake his hand and <laughs> make up the name of your choice 
Fantastic. <laughs> Un- Frederick. Un- unnamed hoplite number two. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> got, all these, the... got all these different Greek names. <laughs> Frederick. I actually have a list. I'm just being lazy. Um, <laughs> what are the fine. rest of What are the rest of you? Fredericus. <laughs> Fredericus. Yes, I'm writing that down. <laughs> Anyone who yes. would listen, Vara is just going on and on and on about ships and how they work and what we need to do and. Well, when I say this, this is what this means, and making sure we know starboard and port and, <laughs> you know, different things like that. So whoever is willing or thinks they'll be one of the main people assisting with the sailing process, that'll far will take pretty much the whole half day doing that. Adrastos okay. is fine listening to that lesson. He has no interest in being in the city anymore. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Very good. I figured he might. Perfect. You've, got, you've got claws, so that'll really help. I mean, you. I, I think it'll be nice. You, you'll avoid rope burn, and <laughs> she'll just kind of talk about the advantages of having a lean in on a ship. And I've never noticed <laughs> that. And she's gonna like. You can tell part of it is her over explaining to you because she's just excited. But she also, you can kind of tell there's a compassion behind it where she knows you're fearful of water, so she's over explaining to try to make you more comfortable as well. Adrastos is not fearful of water. That oh, was not one was? of his things. That was, that was Agrios, right? Yeah. Someone was. No, Very Adrastos has no problem with water. Who didn't like... I mean, Tully. I am now afraid... No, Tully is afraid of Tully. water. So Ptolemaeus is That's probably Ptolemyus. there in your... Great, yes. yes. So, okay, so I'm doing that with him. Yes. No, you just look like a wet kitten whenever you're... <laughs> <with him. laughs> yes. And that's unfortunate, but not a fear. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you who are going to the temple. Part of your world. <laughs> <laughs> the temple is in three three stories. Uh, elongated columns go on each of those heights. Uh, the frames are gilded in gold on the openings. The roof, uh, of course, has a lantern suspended from it, which gives you an eternal sunlight. So it's an always burning flame. Gorgeous. Uh, as you, she'll walk in. Oh, sorry, go ahead. As you enter <laughs> the building, the first two floors are occupied by an image of the god standing under this mosaic dome that represents the sun. There is a terrace supported by columns that differentiate the two levels. Otherwise, it's just a very large open space. The top floor you can't really see from here because the dome's there and then the, the third floor would be above that. As you are brought in, you are greeted by a priest who will walk up to you and welcome travelers. Uh, can we provide you with food? Um, I suppose we are about to take a journey and we won't say no to that. Um, I was curious if there was someone here that is familiar with articles of Eroas. Um, Eroas, um, why would you come to the Temple of Heliod? I went to the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> he will, well, while you are here, please allow us to, to feed you. And um, maybe, maybe we can help somewhat. Um, what is it you would like to know of Eroas? Um, I, I am a warrior of him myself. Uh, however, I've come across this and she'll pull out the metal, um, say I was found in an odd place with an odd person. And I'm just curious if it has anything other than nostalgic properties. Oh, oh, it's a, uh, and he's going to take it from me if that's okay. And look at it. Yep. She'll hand it over. Well, of, of course this is. This is Iroas in, in his pose of glory for his victoriousness. Uh, you'll note the son of Heliod over his shoulder, showing the blessing of Heliod on him and, and his joy with his victory. Um, these, these are given away for those who do well in the games. It's for showing victory. This one being made of, of this silvery metal, the platinum, um, they did quite well. This is one very high honor. Yes, I, it was on someone who I 
had not expected to have had it. Um, not someone I knew to have been a part of the games, especially not that one. Um, I was just trying to figure out how she obtained it. Oh. Um, I believe they mint them differently for each each year of the games. So you may be able to find out exactly when it was given to them. Oh. Or well, at least when it was made. As for yes. how it came into a person's possession, I would presume either they won it or it was given to them by someone who did. Maybe passed down through a family. I wondered that myself. Um, yes, uh, that has been very helpful. Thank you. Um, there, there is, sorry, Chris is real confused now. There is like the, the, the big temple that does have Eros like on the side. The, big, it, the right? big red temple is Eros. You went to the tower. I went, what okay. You said. Went the to tower the is okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Uh, sorry about that she, confusion, but... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just, I was very like, wait, what did I do? <laughs> um, uh, see, Tikaros, even those of us that know the gods get confused. That is so good. I'm so glad I came with you. That has just made my day. While we're here, do you have any questions? This cleric seems very knowledgeable. Yeah, and she'll peer up close to the cleric. Have you got any secrets? None that I can really think of. Detect thoughts! <laughs> you say this out loud, I assume? Yeah, I love that. I love the idea that Tico's just goes, detect thoughts! I think At she which... probably would, because this power is very new to her, and she's just <laughs> discovering it. And he will kind of step back a little bit, and are you actually casting detect thoughts? Just the first one that, like, they won't know and they don't have to make a wisdom save. It's just surface right. thoughts, like Sur in response the, to the that surface, question I asked. The surface thought yeah. of is, these are some very odd people. Interesting that they're in the accompaniment of an anvil rot. Detect thoughts. She's trying to read my thoughts. Is she going to know that I know she's reading my thoughts? Oh, this is confusing. I... Just kidding. I can't read thoughts. That's crazy. But thanks oh. for talking with us. Um, you're you're very welcome. Um, uh, I hope you have a pleasant stay in in Data. Um, well, are you staying long? No, we're shipping out quite soon. As soon as our boat's ready. Oh well, I wish you a, a good journey and Heliod's blessing on you. Bye. On you as well. You'll actually wave as you head out the door. Awesome. Uh, yeah, can, she'll uh, uh, turn to the to, to Fredericus, uh, <laughs> the hoplite, um, and say, "I clearly, I clearly got myself turned around." Uh, <laughs> Temple of Eros, <laughs> and he's gonna look back the way you came and go this way. Awesome. And as you approach it, uh, it is dedicated to Iris Eromos, the protector aspect of Iris. And the building is of primarily white stone with red ceramic tiles. It has four entrances on it. Uh, if you could call them entrances, it's basically like Four enormous openings that are walkthroughs in this thing. It's not like there are any doors on it. Uh, each of the entrances is gilded in gold, uh, almost like a hoplite's uh, clothing and, and gear would be uh, laid out. So all of this is, is made to look like a warrior area. Gotcha. There are things all over the exterior of the temple. There's geometric figures, ram's heads. Uh, most things are uh, signs and symbols uh, dedicated to Iroas' victories over Mogus. That seems Beautiful. to be the running theme here. <laughs> the interior uh... contains a large stature of Iroas in a fighting pose with his leg lifted as though he's about to make a sidekick. 
in a fight. So his hands up and braced, and he is prepared hey, to fight. I swear to God, I thought you were about to say his leg lifted as though he was about to pee on him. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, when I first it's just went, a Calvin sticker, but Eros. When I first did this description, I really thought I cannot just say his leg is raised. Because as soon as I do, somebody's going to say, yeah. is it a peeing fountain? <laughs> so I, I I knew that was going to happen, but um, yeah. Can centaurs do sidekicks? They, it would be hard, but horses can kick sideways, just not as I hard. I guess so. Yeah, it's just it's, not, it's a little awkward, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Have you ever tried? <laughs> Amateur? Immediately, Agrios <laughs> is going to try and kick someone sideways. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Anthony. Not right now. Later. So all around the statue, uh, you have seen, you see clay figures um, that are covered with coins, jewelry, and other things. Uh, there are small shields, but all of the figurines are in a bowing type of position on their knees. Kind of praying to and you know hands up worshiping nothing like this they're all looking up at iris mm. and there mm. are many of them surrounding it and it's a quiet it's outside of that it seems to be very quiet today yeah. could be um, early morning She's going to kind of look around to, uh, I, I presume all of these things that are on these, um, on the statues, like offerings and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Um, she'll probably show Tikaros of like, yes, people will leave blessings for, to receive the blessings or le leave items for the blessing of Eroas. And uh, this is the aspect, there are many aspects of him and this is the protector. So these are often people asking for protection or safety in some way uh, which i feel like we all need a little now and then yeah i like that that's nice hmm. this is the aspect i'm a fan of i think we all the stronger we all are the better we are to protect one another hmm. aspects and you can see t cross like thinking really hard trying to make mental notes aspects of gods got it hmm. Just like we have aspects of ourselves. You, you are not a one-note person, are you, Tikaros? You have many aspects of yourself. Yeah. Uh, she's going to look around to see if there's a, any priests kicking around. Okay. Um, you search around, eventually you'll find one. Yes. Awesome. Um, hello. And he will walk over. The, all of the priests in the Temple of Iris are dressed as hoplites, but they have additional items on there to show they're more of a priest. But they are all uh, appear to be accomplished fighters. They are in good form, and uh, they do carry weapons about them as well. Perfect. Um, hello. Um, I'm curious, is there anyone around here with um, a good historical knowledge of the Akros games? Mm, well, I, I know somewhat. Uh, if you can help me, maybe I can direct you to the right place. Um, I'm curious. I have this medal. Um, I'm wondering if anyone's good at dating the different mintings. Huh. Well, uh, I can tell you that uh, this is for barehanded fighting. You can tell by the pose of Iroless in the given image. Um, the sun being at that location, the sun moves around every year. They do the sun in a different location, and it's either closer, farther, and so forth. I would say based on this one, this is probably... Hmm. Not around 20 years ago, give or take. Uh, how did you come by this? Did you, you, you look to be about that age. Is this something your father would have given you by chance? Um, no, it was a, uh, it belonged to a friend of mine who 
I didn't know to be any kind of fighter, let alone barehanded. So I'm not sure where she got it. Perhaps an heirloom as well. She was of similar age. Well, you you look somewhat as a fighter. That's why I figured it might have been something passed down. I I have uh, I have competed and had had family that did so, but uh, this was not given to me directly. Well, if it's coming into your hands, then obviously Iroas means for you to have it, and I would take that as a blessing. I will try to see it that way. Uh, this friend of yours, um, what happened to them? Why can't you ask them? I came across them after they had passed. Oh. And this was on them. Oh. That is a shame. I'm, I'm sure it's a difficult way to come into something like this, but it is good to remember them by. Again, maybe this... Come with me. And he is going to escort you over to Angel. another priest who is currently bowed in prayer at a smaller icon, Iroas. And he is going to stop and turn. Yes, and he, he's going to put it in hand. This young lady has come into this um, from a friend who perished. Um, she doesn't know where it came from. She did not know the friend had it, um, but her friend has died and it has been, uh, I believe, gifted on to her. Um, is there anything that you can tell her? And he will take it in his hands and say a few words. And then he will lift up his heads and his eyes will have this glowing but hollow appearance about them. Oh. And then he'll shake and look. How did your friend die? We found her petrified. And you're quite sure she's dead? I, in a way, hope so as we dissolved her in the river. She was falling apart. And he'll take and kind of shakily put the coin back into your hand. I, I don't generally like to tell people things that are not the great glory of Heroes. Um I caught a vision of a young woman clutching this at her chest. That was her how she was found. Was on a black cloaked figure. She looked up at his face, but I could not see his face. All I could see was a a black mask of some sort underneath it. And she was asking a single question of this person. She's asking why. I, however, do not sense that she is dead. Merely somewhere else i saw a place in a, a large place devoid of light there was water falling nearby that was pooling into an area and it flowed down into a darkened this. I, I don't know specifically what this would mean to you, but 
and I don't know what will become of your friend's body. Well, what became of your friend? Um, but I don't know that she's dead. Um, thank you. I, I fear this is part of a greater thing happening, and this may be a direction for us to go. I assume you've heard the destruction in Eros, Akros. Of course. That is what has us, that is what has brought us here. Um, you say that you say that you dissolve the body in the water. The, yes, I assume the, you refer to the river, the Data River. Yes, uh, they were. There was a number of them. Uh, it wasn't just my friend Samath, um, but they were stone with a. Um, you saw it, Tikaros. There was a a black coating. Yeah. And we put them all in the water, sending them back to Akros. The water now flows to Akros. No one knows where it's going. It's reversed force, which is quite unusual. It, it was said to flow from the Forge of Perforos. I, I have no great guidance to give on this, but mm. if your friend is near where the water flows, maybe the body's returning to her. Uh, I don't know. Um, I, I will I will play on this and consult with others. How may I contact you? Um. I will go check in with my party. Uh, we will go check in with our party at the docks, and I will come back and let you know. Um, I'm Ariana. Uh, this is Tikaros. Uh, Assisius. Thank you. Um, of course. Yes, we will return shortly. May may Iris watch over and protect you. And you as well. Uh, sure. Let's go. Not do. And head back to the docks. Okay. Check in with everybody. I really okay, so I just pulled this here, here and that makes the whole sail go up? Wow. This is amazing, <laughs> far off. So let me move you over here so you all can see what your boat looks like. If you scroll down to the bottom left-hand side of it, whoops, I did a little too far that time. Oh, yeah. beautiful. You oh, it's cute. You'll be able to see your boat. Yay. I forget, have we done any sailing yet? Because I'm trying to think if Agros has been on the water. Uh, no, no I don't think so. Nope, he's still never been on water. <laughs> should be entertaining so uh looking over your boat you have uh dual rudders at the back to allow you to guide it when it's flowing in current and to guide it in the wind as noted um you have a single mainsail across the top you have a ballista on the front and it will have uh, four bolts with it up front, and there will be an additional ten bolts down in the in the store. There are four hammocks strung across the open area in the store. There is a uh, footlocker in there for storage of things. In the front, at the bow, you'll see there's a barrel. This is down in the hold. That is water, drinkable water, and in the back is a crate of food. So that is the stores that you have on the boat. Oh. Oh. So it is all yours. 
All right, everyone knows how to tie a bowline, right? Are we good? <laughs> <laughs> I think I get it. Perfect. <laughs> Polly feeling sick in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else uh, before we go? Uh, Ariana Tikaros <laughs> jogging up. <laughs> Uh, uh, I might have some information. Oh. Yes, yeah, I was wondering, do we, should we leave right away? Or should we canvas the, the port for, for the imposter at all? And did you, did you find something out about that? No, well, mm, not sure. Uh, this was on Smath. When I found her, or when we found her, um, I just spoke with one of the priests of Eros, um, and they saw something in it. They saw a woman holding this, looking up with their hand out, which is how we found her, asking why to a cloaked, black-masked figure. Well... Burns, he also he also saw her in a dark place filled with water running into an abyss. Well, that doesn't sound good. Abyss. Do I? Does that sound familiar <clears throat> from sailing ships, maps, anything like that? Uh, not particularly. I would say you wouldn't even need to roll for that. Um, Perfect. I mean, you may have heard tales of various maelstroms or things. Sure. Maybe edge of the world type of things. But there aren't uh, any, like, known Marianas Trench kind of situation. No, okay. not, nothing that would uh, definitely fit in with that directly. Um, I've, I mean, there aren't any naturally occurring you know, ocean features like that, any kind of trench. Or, um, Perhaps Does anyone that's where the water is flowing to? You know, I had the thought. Um, mm -hmm. we, I think we should consider: Do we want to go to where we think the origin point of the water is, or would it better to see where it's going? I know we've already made our way down, so that feels a little uh, defeating to have to make our way back up. But well. if, if you're seeing if if someone's seen imagery of water rushing somewhere, I mean, the most recent water we've seen going anywhere is the river going up. So perhaps if we follow the river, we would find this holding place, unless it's somewhere spiritual. I mean, the, the imposter mentioned the Nix. I mean, I don't, with every water there, water formed. We are hunting the hooded figure, are we not? Do we believe that he reversed the water from a point, or that some power is drawing it to a point? Hmm. Like it's being pulled rather than pushed. That would make sense. Well, your, your mission originally was to go inspect the village of Tavi, I believe. Yes. Oh, yes I, it was. I was just um, about to ask. Krista can't remember exactly why we were going this way in the first but, place. <laughs> but, I mean, that was before the river turned its way. Well, that was before the gods decided to fight in the middle of Akros as well. I... Yes. It feels like a clue. It feels like we should be following the water. I agree. I think you're right, Farah. I still think Toby's important. Um, I mean, which one takes more precedent? I, I mean... Say directions. You... I... I mean, we've spoken of the Nix. I mean... It, 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 that's obvious that's important. So maybe we go to Toby to get more information? about the Nicks or about what's going on. I mean, it's important to Tikros's past and that might shed some light on things. 
that, that oh. why I've been talking about. It might Adrastus. just slow us down. Adrastus had a comment, I think, as well. Remind me where our um, indestructible friend told me that he had seen the orphan that was left off by Crassus, because I thought that was around Tavi. Uh, it was. Yes. That is correct. Um, Adrastus will say, I think we should continue on our path and get more information from Tavi. It, I doubt it will slow us down, and I have business there as well. I want to follow the water if that is what you think is best. You are the captain. But if we are putting it to a vote, I would say we continue on our course and then circle back once we have the information we need from Toby. I believe that Alitas and Dracios would both want it at your discretion. I, I believe you could go either way. It's It truly would be your choice as either one could lead clues to what's going on. Should we perhaps... Uh, we are waiting on Bubo. Perhaps we can send him back with a note requesting another party go investigate the river if we make our way to Tavi to get a head start on things. Or we could perchance speak to the commander directly and ask if he is willing to send, as the river is going the other direction, it will be fast to reach Akros. Perhaps they can send a contingent up to do the same. And the hoplite Perhaps. at this point, because he's nearby, unless you've dismissed oh, yeah, him, he's yeah. standing nearby. No. What did you name him again? Fredericus. Fredericus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't believe that the commander uh, is going to entertain another visit with you. And um, I don't know if he would be willing to dispatch anyone upstream. It's been discussed before, but the decision was made not to send anyone. Does, does he have jurisdiction over the uh, Eroan, the followers of Eroas here? Well, jurisdiction to a point. He's he's charged with protection of everyone within the lands from Data to Akros. So if there was a contingent from the temple that was willing to go... Uh, if you could find a, a group willing to go, I doubt he would stand in their way, specifically. He, he, is, he is a fair and just man, you, you understand. Uh, he seems it, as, uh, under, and is understandably frustrated with us. A lot of people are. Huh. We seem to get the goads of the best of them. Uh, I've seen quite enough of the fairness and justice of the Crown Rangers. We're a grumpy sort. Oh my <laughs> how, <laughs> how, soon, how soon do we intend to set sail? Well, we have to wait for Bubu now because Ariana Assisus needs a way to contact you, so Bubu has to know him. Uh, yes. Uh, Always got to do a shit. I thought up a plan. Did you see that? I made logic with my mouth. It was beautiful. You... <laughs> that was very admirable of you. I quite. Yes, like very that. well done. <laughs> Big high five. <laughs> I, uh, uh, perhaps we celebrate this wonderful turn of events of, of logicking with mouths and uh, it's very common um, for, for the, the sailing sort to drink heavily when in port before a journey so if you all would be willing to do that I think um, like I said in like I said in the cell, I mean we've we've been pretty constant in in our journeys and, and, and dealing with terrible things. I mean we've we've all kind of been scarred in different ways. So uh I would be happy to pay for drinks. As your That's right. Yeah. 
Sounds wonderful. All right. If that's okay, half half life, Patrick. Just... <laughs> I know. Don't even remember, remember my name, name but... that you gave to me. Fredericus. Fredericus. It is. Fred Fred Asterikus. Yes, yes. And he kind of dances. I I'm I'm sure it would be fine. Just please, um, don't don't. I he looks over at Agrio specific specifically. I get the feeling. Saying we can't promise that. Whatever's about to come out of your mouth, I promise you nothing. We will make no guarantees, but we will try. That's what matters. What I'll, is it? I'll I'll request more guards. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to need them. Uh, oh, they, they'll 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 be standing by holding your weapons until you are ready to board the ship and leave. Perfect. <laughs> I love that. That's great. <laughs> I love that for them. Uh, <laughs> uh, I will go back to speak to Cecius. Cecius, okay. Uh, and uh, just sort of confer, um, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, we're um, we're planning. We're heading to Tavi. Um, Tavi. I've never are, heard of Tavi. It's a small town of the south. Um, it was why we came to Data in the first place was to borrow um, the boat from Councilor Drakios. Um, but. We feel it's important for us to go there. We've had a number of things leading us there, and we're following those tra that trail. However, what you have said, along with our experience, has us worried that the abyss that you spoke of, the water going into, may be where the river has started going. So we are not sure how to... Uh, I, I do have a... a mechanical owl that Drakios has lent me um, that we have used for communications before. If it arrives before we leave, I can introduce you and he will be able to find you with communications. Um, however, it is on a missive, mesh, missive mission at the moment. Um, but do you have any way of reaching out aside from that? Oh, um, not especially where you're going to a land I, I don't specifically know. One moment. <laughs> and he will step <laughs> away. And uh, he'll be gone for about 20 to 30 minutes. And you will hear noises of there's obviously discussion going on. And at some points it gets a little heated. Oh, and he will come back and he will be carrying something in his hands and he's carrying it like this covered and he will stand forward and he will there are only two of these known in existence I have spoken with the other priests and we hope that you will journey to rescue the soul of your friend. Please understand, I do not feel that she is in immediate danger, but she is quite scared wherever she is. So I hope that you will be able to handle that. But if this helps with your mission and if we can provide any guidance to you, and he opens his hand and there's a small silver pebble about two inches by one inch oval shaped that he places in your hand once per day if you hold this you can send me your thoughts a short message and i can reply if it's just not i it will be one of the other priests here there will always be someone available please protect this 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 is a great gift it is an artifact that was left behind by another traveler. And it was very important to the temple and to Iroas. And we are entrusting you with this because I believe you have Iroas's protection and a great purpose. 
it is reassuring to hear. Um, does the traveler have a name? Yes, but the stupid priest can't remember off the top. Of <laughs> <laughs> oh, dead gummit! I will get it to you because I had it written what down and I don't remember what it was at the moment. So it's it's it not. It's not. I'm presuming now, it's I, not. I'm, I'm like I can't believe that it's one of those where you go to say something and it just immediately goes. So like five yeah. minutes from now, it's going to pop back into my head. But anyway, beautiful. <laughs> um, it it's not it's not Orcos though, right? No, no. I have mentioned okay. the name before, and I mentioned it in concert with the hole that was found in the temple. That removable portable hole. I was just looking at those notes. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I might have. I am, a ter- I am a terrible DM. I should have myself beaten. Anyway. Uh, it- Calix. Cal- Calix. 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 Yep. Calix. Yep. Ha 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 ha. Thank you. So, DJ Calix. That, he will hand you this. <laughs> he will one. hand you this stone. It is very lightweight and cool to the touch. Interesting. Um. Thank you, Cecius. This is incredibly kind, and I am very honored. Please understand that with this becomes the obligation to follow and serve the will of Iroas. I had committed to that long ago and had faltered in my belief of that. Um, But this steals that belief and will hopefully continue to do so. May this see you and protect you and strengthen you on your journey. It will. Thank you. So basically it is a sending stone if you didn't catch that. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> figure that one. Uh yeah, she'll wrap it into something and put it in a bag and then put it in another bag and make sure it's tied off 15 times and yeah. Uh, and good. then, yeah, head out uh, uh, and come back to the ship. Um, we have a way of contacting Cecius, uh, or at least the temple here, so um, we can we can make our way to Tavi then and hopefully check in. And once Bubo finds us, we can send word back to Akros. And I want to speak to... Tolly, when he's gotten over his water sickness regarding Calix. <laughs> Sorry, my cat came in. <laughs> oh, yeah, we heard that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought yeah. you might have. Briggs, what? Come on, be honest. It's a Drastos, and he's asking for yeah. some water. <laughs> See? There he goes. Yeah, hungry. Listen. If I pick you up, you're going to make horrible noises. Um, yeah. All right. Very good. So there you, go. uh, you have your vote. You have your way of messaging. Uh, I assume you're headed to drink yourselves solidly under the table. Oh, yeah. And then get into a boat and set sail. What best ideas for? That'll go well. ever. Yeah. yeah. I Listen, all right. Tis the pirate lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. I'm, I'm just imagining very drunk Agrios starting to set stale, sail for the first time in his life and just stumbling around the deck going, what's happening? What's happening? Why is moving? <laughs> some oh, God. Make, it make it stop. Wait, 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 wait. Make it stop. Considering this is a keel boat, I think every time the sail moves to turn course, you're going to have to duck. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> because yeah. it's going to be right in your your height line. He would not duck. He would get immediately floored the first <laughs> time. Just whack. <laughs> oh. uh, I feel like Ariana gets like is like real happy drunk for the first little while, and then gets into like real sad, depressed drunk, and she, <laughs> and is oh, like man. that person. Oh, yeah. Oh, Agrios takes a while to get really drunk. He's just like, keep it coming. I have another stomach just for booze. <laughs> and meanwhile, all these hoplites are standing around, you know, they send like a contingent of 10 guards <laughs> to watch over you uh, guys. Yeah. 
Half of them are holding your equipment. The other half are standing there with their hands on their white knuckling their spears. Uh, uh. I feel I feel like one of them gets stuck in a corner with Ariana, like cry talking about her <laughs> her her <laughs> crisis of faith and like just you, just, you don't understand. You just fighting. You just killed a bunch of people. I just it was I couldn't do oh. anything about it. <laughs> Ma'am, oh, oh. Take us, take Ma us I understand. Right please take your oh. hand off my sword and please go back to the counter with your friends. <laughs> what are you talking Ariana, are you okay? What are you talking about? Killing people? No, it's yeah. just that it's just he made a big mess. He's supposed to be a protector. He wasn't protecting anybody. He's just oh. fighting with his brother. Can't believe it. But... You know, <laughs> you, you know who you know who can be counted on to do what he's supposed to do. The the other one, the destroyer of Mogus. That's the one. He's a good one. But even then, he wasn't worried about destroying. He's just fighting his brother. Who's worried about destroying their brother? Family's supposed to stick together. We get little squabbles, but you and I fight all the time, but I'm only about good things. I'm not trying to destroy you. I don't think you're trying to destroy listen, me. It's just... Listen, don't fucking talk to me about family. I don't want to talk about family. Who wants to talk about family? I don't have any more. You don't even want to begin unwrapping that. There's so much there. Well, it's so much. That is. You don't even. But, but you guys are oh, brothers. Oh, you don't even. You, you don't even. It's just like poking him in the chest. You don't even know. <clears throat> the the hoplite that was that you were dealing with earlier. Uh, stepped away from him and he comes back and he's got a pauldron on his shoulder from where you'd been hitting him as you were talking oh, yeah. <laughs> trying to shield him so happy to see you poking Agrios in the chest rather than hitting him on the shoulder for a change. Wait a minute. You have a complicated family thing too. Yes. Do you everyone, everyone, all all of us. Tikaros, Adras Sosfara, Ariana. Do you all, do any of you have happy, normal family lives? Oh, me? You do? Uh, I love my dad. <laughs> He's wonderful. Okay. Well, there's got to be one, though. You can't, you got to mm. have one functional. I, I have no real family but the man i call father i have a good relationship with i mean he he restored me all right well i thought i'd found what was in common with all of us that we but were he was about. always sad and i apparently do have a brother who died there you go <laughs> vara vara do you have a dead brother um you said you loved your dad what about your mom i don't yeah. have a mom <sighs> it's only ever a dad. That's it. That I... seems scientifically improbable. Well, um, my last name, as I'm, I'm sure you've heard me say, is Tideborn. I was born of the sea. Oh, like literally? I thought you were like born on a boat. No, I am. Um, <sighs> well, my my dad's adoptive. He rescued me um, from the waters. And oh. I was, so I guess I don't necessarily have a mom, but uh, I was more of a, it takes a you village don't. situation. I was, I was you, raised by the whole ship. You don't know your, uh, your other family. Uh, no, I like to think that. Um, no, I get it. I was a, a spawn of Aphius. Oh, ooh, that's a neat one. I like that. Thank you. That's what that, I like that does fall under your category of complicated agrios. So. Oh yeah, that's it. That's what we're all liking. You want to know some shit? Yes, my I do. Pa <laughs> my parents didn't even fucking name me agrios, and then that's when he slumps over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Huh. <laughs> I wow. This group can really handle their alcohol. <laughs> I was about to say, you guys are really easy to sauce. Good lord. Oh, this is like I like to imagine that he's been downing like bottles. Yes. That he's yes. been absolutely drinking way too much alcohol. Excellent. This is, I was about to say 40s, but no one knows what that means because I'm the only Canadian here. <laughs> I know uh, what 40 is. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 40 is. <laughs> oh, is it 40? Okay. No, sorry. It's two sixes. You don't, you guys don't yeah. say. Yeah. yeah. Mickey's in two sixes. I was about um, to say, I feel like every American college kid knows what Edward 40 hands is. <laughs> 40, yes. Oh my God. I forgot about that. Do that with old English. Mm. Uh, but yeah, no, Adrastos has been plugging away and holding him, his own pretty well. Oh no. Our Ariana and it sounds like Agrios as well are just, just giving her. It was a few shots and then it was a grabbed a couple of bottles. <laughs> Though Ariana, well, Ariana probably wouldn't notice, but Adrastos would be drinking substantially less than he would have been before very recently. Like there is something about him that is making him be very careful about how much he drinks. Sure. And Ariana is very much the difference. I don't know in the many years Adrastos and Ariana have known each other, she's ever gotten drunk. Possibly yeah, that, that's why Adrastos is kind drank. of like, Okay, he's he's kind of just like he's the mom friend. He's just kind of floating around Ariana, like, oh, okay, okay, drink some water. <laughs> yep, yep. I know, I know, everything's terrible. Erwas is the worst. Yep, drink the water. <laughs> yeah, she she just ends up like face planted in the side of his mane, just crying. Yeah, there's there's just like half of his mane is just matted to his face. He's like, yep, I know, I know. Oh, that's it's not in the mane. It's fine. This is, okay. this is going exactly as Barra planned. <laughs> like she, she's she's loving this. She thinks this is great. Um, she's she's very obviously had a you know she's she's had some drinks, but there is definitely a certain level of like I am the captain tomorrow, and I've made promises that I won't let anyone die. So, um, but she can handle her alcohol really well, having grown up on ships. Um, so she's drank a little bit, but she's for the most part she's <laughs> sober. Yeah, Ariana will probably end up asleep somewhere in the vicinity of Agria. Excellent. Just like both of them just like the like the opposite where you're <laughs> curled up on his lap instead of the cat on you. <laughs> I mean, do I have a lap? Yes. What's my lap? You I that's just my like that's just my horse body back there. Like you're just lying on that. It's probably that's just my horse. <laughs> just, just... <laughs> I I see just... this I see this as the hoplites once you once all of you have passed out. They actually get these litters and carry you back to the ship <laughs> unconscious yes. and just kind of lay you down on the deck <laughs> and leave you there. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> just fall. That's if, if uh, not that horses normally sleep while tucked up, but I'm going to assume that it's the side sleep. Of oh, Agrios. yeah. It's the, it's the side sleep. Yeah. And Ariana's just like, back bent like over the top just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just over the, the horse section beautiful yep. the horse section <laughs> the horse section. So, the, horse, the horse section yeah exactly <laughs> Tifros, are you excited to be going to Tavi or is it um, not exciting oh hi Vara Hello. I can't talk now I'm looking for secrets oh. and you'll see that Tikaros has been pretending to drink or not and she's kind of just wandering the crowd. She's listening for people who are getting drunk, spilling their stories, and seeing if she can pick up any secrets. And when she sees that you're fine, she kind of tries to get away from you, Vara, really quickly <laughs> so she can continue this. Okay. I want to, um, once, once everyone is like really sauced, because I'm assuming Vara won't be, because you, like you said, you're, I'm going to kind of like, have Ariana over my shoulder. <laughs> and because Adrastos isn't getting drunk either. Um, and as he yeah. as we're walking back to the ship, I think he kind of wants to sidle up to Var and say, I hope I don't mean to go against you with wanting to go to Tavi still. I do have business there, but it's not more important than what's happening here. You are the captain. If you think downriver is the best plan, that's where we'll go. I, 
And to be entirely honest with you, Adrastus, I don't really think anywhere is a good place to go. <laughs> I, I, uh, I don't know. We're we're all just trying to do what seems best in the moment, and uh, well, un unfortunately, that is the way of life, right? I mean, in an open sea, you can, you know, what our adventure so far is is less like a path and more like an ocean. There is not a you're traveling down the road and then there's a fork and you choose one way or the other. We are amidst a, a wide world with. A, a ton of just different chaos and destruction and different people and there is no right or left there is northeast south northeast south southwest i so i i don't really mind where we go i'm just i just well, feel the need to present ideas that i have when i think of them um, i know i act impulsively and have been more so in the past day or so, but I know what I am. I am a weapon to be wielded by wiser heads, and you have certainly proven yourself to be that. So I just want you to know, going forward, whatever judgment you have, I may offer alternatives, but of course, I trust your judgment implicitly. Well, thank you. I, I mean, uh, you come from a pride, and I assume that even if there is a leader per se, um, you all contribute equally. So, since you've bestowed this upon me, and she'll kind of motion towards the uh, uh, cloth that you've given her, she'll. I'm just, I'm just trying to do right by my pride, but really, I. I don't think there's necessarily a right or wrong choice in any of this. We're just doing our best. You can't fault us for that. No. I do believe what I said in the cell, by the way. Stronger swords are forged from different ores. And I think that the sword that we have forged together, the six of us, is one of the strongest I've seen in all of Oreskos. I agree, and perhaps that might be our why. <laughs> Kitty tail. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, I just pat her on the back on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're all drunk, and I don't know if they've even really seen this before. And Vara <laughs> is going to take she she pretty much always has her hair. Um, I think she's maybe let it down a little bit before. Oh, in the baths. Gonna, yeah, she said, mm -hmm. yeah, she's she's gonna go ahead and um take her like netting off that she keeps around her tentacles and and she's gonna like dump a cup of water on them and let them kind of like be all over the place and just like kind of position herself near Ariana to or to like entertain her. <laughs> like, <laughs> like little suction cups that get stuck to you. <laughs> um oh, this is great. I uh I've missed this. I haven't done this in gosh, I wanna say half a year or more. I I agree. I I love Ariana dearly as my sister and my trainer, but it's nice to have a pride again. Oh, absolutely. Well, I think we are, um, like I was saying, I think we are something to be feared. I think uh, the fact that this, <laughs> this would have figured out right. so far as to try and <laughs> try to be an imposter and trick us and warn us, I. Uh, I think he's scared. And he's right to be. <laughs> Very good. Take a rose. Yeah. Any stories? Take a rose, do me a favor. I was going, I was getting ready to ask. <laughs> I have two questions to handle here. Uh, Take a rose, please roll me an investigation as you have been yeah. going around looking for clues on things. All right. I'm totally guiding myself through this with little pep talks like Ariana has taught me. Yeah. You can do this, Tekaros. You're listening hard. You're concentrating, just like Ariana would tell you. So she's going to guide herself as she goes. 
Oh, that's a great big seven. So she's doing really well. As you wander around and hear things, <laughs> uh, one one thing you hear about <clears throat> is apparently there's a, a thing about um, a group of warriors coming in and terrorizing a farm and uh, just trampling uh, the fence, destroying the fence and trampling the fields. And uh, apparently they were chased off by the wolves, the Rogan wolves. Uh, there's another rumor that apparently um, the commander last night was seen in the bar uh, drinking, and he's never gone for drink. They didn't even think that he would drink alcohol. So this That's is close. the first time they've ever seen him do anything like that. <gasps> Vara, the imposter was here last night drinking. I heard it. Oh. So that's a clue. That's that's quite the clue. Did, did anyone see where he went? Do you think we should talk with this? Who, who, who was talking about it? Yeah. That person over there. <laughs> and I'll race you over so we can just stand nonchalantly near them. Perfect. I'll kind of give him a light tap on the shoulder. Uh, yes. I'll babysit the unconscious unco alcoholics. <laughs> um, sorry, I, d I don't mean to um, eavesdrop or impose, but uh, we actually um, had a run-in with the commander yesterday and, and uh, overheard you talking about them being a little out of sorts and um, was just curious if you had seen where they went last night after after they left here. Like I said, didn't mean to eavesdrop or overhear the conversation, but um, we had been we had been talking with some of the guard today and just wanted to help them out. It was a weird night last night. Um, he he came in here late in the evening. Uh, said something about uh, he'd had a headache and asked the barkeep for something that uh, would do. Said he felt like he'd felt like something had been inside of his head Ugh. all day and. Uh, had a drink, and then I presume he went home. Oh. Huh. Interesting. All right. That that does clear some things up. I appreciate that. Oh, well, of course. Heliod, watch uh, over you. Ah, uh, yes. Um, Athreos, I, there's not really... I hope, hope your death is pleasant. <laughs> Mara will walk away. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, May you have a pleasant death. Have a nice death. <laughs> yeah. Good death to you. <laughs> and also with you. <laughs> wow. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. Uh, the next question is, um, who's paying the, the uh, bar bill? I am. And uh, presumably, how much did you all drink? And are you drinking the good stuff or the cheap stuff? Cheap. <sighs> Sorry, Vara. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not drinking the good stuff, but I drink a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that's not a problem. Um, let's see. I'm going to. How many uh, bottles of wine would you drink, Agrios, to get a snocker? So snocker that it takes four uh -huh. hoplites and a litter to carry you back to the ship. He's a you know what? <laughs> let me roll, let me roll my Constitution save, and then depending on how high I rolled, will determine. Oh, good idea. How high? How many I had to drink? All right. <laughs> I think Ariana must have rolled well. Or bad. Was she a cheap what did date? You get? <laughs> um, I rolled a 17. <laughs> oh, no. So, uh, like six, seven. <laughs> a barrel. <laughs> uh, Ariana rolled a one. <laughs> Cheap date. Oh, no. Cheap date. She was you. looking to get drunk. She was doing it on purpose. All right. Uh, Drastos, you drank a little bit, but you said you didn't yeah. get drunk. I probably so. drank like a bottle or two of wine. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ariane's probably three. All right. Vara? 
Yeah, probably a bottle. Okay. Tikaros, we know you didn't drink any, and obviously Prime didn't. And Ptolemaeus was not feeling well, so I doubt he drank any either. So uh, it's not going to be that bad. I mean, totally talking uh, two gold pieces worth. Sure. It's not too bad. So. All right. Uh, but I'm responsible for most of that, I assume, and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that my man with literally two stomachs drank himself blackout drunk. That's yep. quite all right. That is Pro what I wanted. Oh, I love it. Cool. That, I think, about cleans me out money-wise. There we go. Uh, when you make it back to the ship, uh, obviously Ariana doesn't notice, but uh, your mechanical friend has returned and is alighted on the mast. Perfect. The bird. <laughs> yeah. She is unaware. She is flopped. And that's okay. It's it 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 recognizes the shape the shape and state that you have been returned <gasps> to the ship and figures it'll wait till morning. Wonderful. Well, so, <laughs> so uh, all of you are back at the ship. It is evening. I assume you're not setting sail immediately. Lord, I hope not. And the big question <laughs> is. <laughs> um which way are you going to go because i've heard it go back and forth and back and forth all right are you going up the data or right. are you headed to javi right before we decide agrius is going to pull out the bones <laughs> yes bones uh, bones which way uh what is, all right it has to how be a I, wheel how should, low. I, how should i phrase this can, Sorry. can you say um, how should i phrase this <laughs> Can we say which destination? Uh, I have to pick up. one, I think. It's and wheel say or woe, that's bad. the only oh. answer. Yeah. Okay. I pick one and say good or bad. Will, will going to Tavi be more illuminating about the figure and the goings-on of the godly destruction? That's so specific. I love it. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yep, let's do it. I do a lot of genie things of like, <laughs> what's the best way yeah, to get exactly, this exactly. A lot of monkey no, paw stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah a lot I, of monkey paw stuff. I think that's good, yeah. So like, Now, it is about a, a decision we make in the next 30 minutes. So will setting sail to Tavi is what he's going to ask. Will setting sail for Tavi yield more information about the hooded figure? Wheel. It is wheel. Tavi is our destination for learning about this hooded figure. Take that oh. as you will. Great. Then Let's we'll go. head to Tavi. 